McGraw Hill Audio presents The Master Swing Trader Tools and Techniques to Profit from Outstanding Short Term Trading Opportunities. Written by Alan S. Farley. Read by Chris Ryan. Chapter 1 Trading the Pattern Cycle The Path to Trading Power. Swing traders must compete against the best-informed crowd in history. Financial institutions spent decades building expensive barriers to keep their middlemen in the seat of power. The net revolution collapsed this unfortunate scheme and opened the markets to the average investor. Now anyone with a computer can access breaking news, execute a low-commission trade, and witness the immediate result. Technical analysis has come to the masses as well. The web ensures that everyone knows their highs from their lows and can identify popular patterns as soon as they appear on their favorite stock charts. Managing information and finding opportunity grow more difficult each day. Common knowledge of any market condition closes the system inefficiency that allows easy profit. But the masses respond slowly and continue to throw money at losing strategies for some time. Swing traders succeed when they recognize changing conditions and stay one step ahead of this restless crowd. This simple task requires great discipline, because they must constantly abandon winning strategies and trade fresh ones as soon as the herd charges in their direction. The markets have grown enormously complex over the past century, Look back at Charles Dow's revelations on trend and reversal in the Wall Street Journal. Or read the fascinating accounts of Roaring Twenties trader Jesse Livermore in Edwin Lefebvre's Reminiscences of a Stock Operator. The middlemen of that day pocketed such a large piece of the trading action that only the well-greased elite could profit from most market fluctuations. Imagine a world with no electronic communications networks, derivative markets, or talking heads. Yet the core elements of swing trading and technical analysis have not changed in decades. Stocks still go up or down, with many pullbacks to test support and resistance. New highs continue to generate greed that carries price well past most rational expectations. And modern traders face the same emotional crowd that Livermore did, when he played the bucket shops early in the last century. Today's aspirants often confuse execution with opportunity. Rapid placement tools and fast connections promise a level playing field for any individual interested in the markets. Add some high-tech software, and the home office may even rival a glass tower financial house. But these complex systems can short-circuit the most critical requirement for consistent profits, market timing that relies on accuracy rather than speed. And the tremendous ease of execution generates instant karma for errors and washes out traders at the fastest rate in history. When new players first enter this fascinating world, they run quickly to bookshelves and absorb the trading masters. Neophytes must move slowly and protect capital until experience finally awakens knowledge. Over time, trade rewards and tragedies condition the mind to develop the instincts needed for long-term survival. Only then will the journeyman trader finally discover what works and what doesn't in this challenging game. Seasoned traders often carry a flawed and incomplete market reality as well. They limit execution to a few classic setups, rather than build understanding of the entire complex mechanism. When the market fails to offer perfect conditions for their limited strategies, tactics demand that they stand aside and wait. But if they lack strong discipline, the restless mind fills in the missing pieces and encourages bad positions. These narrow tactics may end careers in other ways. If the masses discover their well-worn game, it could stop working completely and leave them with no source of income. 
The daily demands of trading are so intense that many borderline participants just grow lazy and evolve a self-destructive style. Fatigue sets in as the mind struggles to organize this complex world, and many valuable shades of gray resolve into black and white illusion. In this dangerous view, stock positions become all or nothing events, and wish fulfillment distorts vital incoming signals. As hope replaces good judgment, another market loser washes out and looks for a safer hobby. Trading at all skill levels evokes emotions that generate great illusions. Sudden gains convince us that we are invulnerable, while painful losses confirm our ugly imperfection. We then externalize and turn to others who will comfort us as they parrot our point of view, or we try to blame external systems for our failure. After all. Everyone knows that market makers steal our money through evil tactics, while bad connections and buggy software keep us from reaping fortunes. The path to modern trading power must allow participants to adapt quickly to new inefficiencies, offer profit opportunities throughout changing conditions, and allow fast, accurate analysis of all system input. It must be powerful enough to short circuit both mental and emotional trader illusions. This market knowledge must be simple to understand, but provide continuous feedback through all time frames. And it must present a broad context to manage trade setups, risk, and execution through a variety of strategies, including day trading, swing trading, and investment. The hidden market. The vast majority of destabilizing and supportive market energies remain hidden from individual traders. Insiders quietly manipulate news to protect options positions. Analysts push stocks so their trading departments can unload inventory. Operating failures pass through accounting magic and disappear. As a result, market knowledge has limited value. Unless it meets one important test, it must stand alone as a complete fractal image of all hidden and known information about that market. Traders and investors study markets through price charts. These powerful visual tools offer a common language for all equities, derivatives, and indices. The simplest chart just draws a time-price axis and adds each day's closing price as a single point. Or vertical bar, the connected data points then plot a series of oscillating highs and lows that participants study to predict whether price will move up or down over time. Pattern analysis begins with the simple observation that all market activity reflects itself in the fractal properties of price and volume. These small bits of information create a profound visual representation. When tied together into a continuous time series, a display of both current and past outcomes for all interactions of infinite market forces, as seen through the eyes of all participants. In contrast to the cold discipline of fundamental analysis, the pattern analyst's world reeks with lust and intrigue. The markets are about money. No other controlled substance brings out the best and worst of humanity with quite so much intensity. The markets become our lovers, our bosses, and the bullies who beat us up when we were young. As assets shrink or swell, emotions flood in and cloud reason, planning, and self-discipline. Chronic fight-flight impulses emerge to trigger unconscious and often inappropriate buying and selling behavior. Actions initiated through emotional impulse generate oscillations in both price and time that print clearly on charts. The skilled pattern reader observes this unstable behavior and visualizes impending price movement. But successful trade execution requires both accurate prediction and excellent timing. Fortunately, chart patterns work without crystal balls or divine intervention. As a detailed map of all market forces, 
Patterns identify exact trigger points where the swing trader can exploit the emotional crowd. Patterns simplify and condense a vast universe of market interplay into easily recognizable setups. The subsequent analysis actually evokes the subjective right brain processes rather than the cold analytics of the orb's left side. Correct interpretation requires that the swing trader focus intuition on crowd impulses, evident within each price chart. Those who divine correctly and apply that knowledge to obtaining profits are truly artists at their core, not masters of science. Edwards and McGee did not invent patterns for their 1948 classic Technical Analysis of Stock Trends, they observed an order within price movement as ancient as the auction place. They also recognized the existence of cyclical crowd behavior throughout all time frames and all markets. Although the individual components are simple and easy to understand, these repeating formations offer the most intriguing predictive methods in the entire financial world. Pattern Cycles The U.S. stock exchanges trade over 9,000 issues each day. Add to that many thousands of emerging exchanges and companies worldwide. On any given day, every bull and bear condition, from euphoria to panic, exists somewhere on the planet. Buried within this universe of volatility and price movement, perfect trade setups wait to be discovered. But how can the speculator consistently tap this deep well of profit without being crushed by information overload or burnout? For many decades, technical traders learned chart interpretation through the concepts of Dow theory, or they studied Edwards and McGee and faithfully memorized the characteristics of familiar price patterns seen daily on their favorite stocks or futures. These speculators were a minority within the investment community, and their size allowed them to execute effective strategies that capitalized on these little-known patterns when they appeared. Net connectivity revolutionizes public access to price charts. They no longer require an expensive subscription, and most market participants can view them quickly in real time. Now everyone reads the charts and believes that he or she understands the inner secrets of technical analysis. As noted earlier in this chapter, common knowledge of any market condition closes the system inefficiency that allows easy profit from it. Triangles, flags, and double tops now belong to the masses and are often undependable to trade through old methods. Fortunately, the popularity of chart reading opens a new and powerful inefficiency for swing traders to manipulate. They can use the crowd's limited pattern knowledge for their own profit. The new disciples of technical analysis tend to focus on those few patterns that have worked well over the past century. Skilled traders can place themselves on the other side of popular interpretation and fade those setups with pattern failure tactics. More importantly, they can master the unified structure that underlies all pattern development and awaken the skills required to successfully trade dependable setups that have no name or adoring crowd. Pattern cycles recognize that markets travel through repeated bull and bear conditions in all time frames. Trends uncoil in a predictable manner, while constricted ranges print common shapes. Measurable characteristics distinguish each opportunity phase from uptrend to downtrend and back again. Most participants see these changes as the typical top, bottom, and congestion patterns, but a far richer trading world exists. The twin engines of greed and fear fuel the creation of market opportunity. Through their power, the crowd reacts in a predictable manner at every stage of price development. Prices fall, and fear releases discounted equities into patient value hands. Prices rise, and mindless greed bids up hot shares into the pockets of momentum players, 
On and on it goes, through all markets and time frames. Rising prices attract greed. Paper profits distort self-image and foster inappropriate use of margin. The addictive thrill of a rally draws in many participants looking for a quick buck. More jump on board just to take a joyride in the market's amusement park. But greed-driven rallies will continue only as long as the greater fool mechanism holds. Eventually, growing excitement closes the mind to negative news as the crowd recognizes only positive reinforcement. Momentum fades, and the uptrend finally ends. Falling prices awaken fear. The rational mind sets artificial limits as profits evaporate or losses deepen. Corrections repeatedly pierce these thin boundaries and force animal instinct to replace reason. Negative emotions build quickly as pockets empty. Personality flaws invade the psyche of the wounded long, while sudden short-covering rallies raise false hopes and increase pain. The subsequent decline finally becomes unbearable, and the tortured shareholder sells, just as the market reverses. The emotional crowd generates constant price imbalances that swing traders can exploit. But successful execution requires precision in both time and direction. Fortunately, this chaotic world of price change masks the orderly pattern cycle structure that generates accurate prediction and profitable opportunities through all market conditions. This inner order frees the mind provides continuous feedback, and empowers spontaneous execution of rewarding trades. Swing traders capitalize on the emotions of others after they control their own. Pattern cycles caution them to stand apart from the crowd at all times. In the simplest terms, it represents the attractive prey from which their livelihood is made. And just as a wildcat stalks the herd's edge looking for a vulnerable meal, the swing trader must recognize opportunity by watching the daily grind of price swings, volume spikes, and market noise. Prices trend only 15 to 20 percent of the time through all equities, derivatives, and indices. This is true in all charts, from one-minute bars through monthly displays. Markets spend the balance of time absorbing instability created by trend-induced momentum. Swing traders see this process in the wave-like motion of price bars as they oscillate between support and resistance. Each burst of crowd excitement alternates with extended periods of relative inactivity. Reduced volume and counter-trend movement mark this loss of energy. As ranges contract, so does volatility. Like a coiled spring, markets approach neutral points from which momentum reawakens to trigger directional price movement. This interface between the end of an inactive period and the start of a new surge marks a high-reward empty zone, EZ, for those that can find it. Prior to beginning each new breath, the body experiences a moment of silence as the last exhalation completes. The markets regenerate momentum in a similar manner. The EZ signals that price has returned to stability. Because only instability can change that condition, volatility then sparks a new action cycle of directional movement. Price bars expand sharply out of the EZ into trending waves. Swing traders use pattern recognition to identify these profitable turning points. Price bar range, distance from the high to low, tends to narrow as markets approach stability. Skilled eyes search for a narrowing series of these bars in sideways congestion after a stock pulls back from a strong trend. Once located, they place execution orders on both sides of the EZ, and enter their position in whatever direction the market breaks out. Paradoxically, most math-based indicators fail to identify these important trading interfaces. Modern tools, such as moving averages and rate of change measurements, tend to flatline 
or revert toward neutral just as price action reaches the easy trigger point. This failure reinforces one of the great wisdoms of technical analysis. Use math-based indicators to verify the price pattern, but not the other way around. Volatility provides the raw material for momentum to generate. This elusive concept opens the door to trading opportunity, so take the time to understand how this works. Technical Analysis of Stocks and Commodities magazine describes volatility as a measure of a stock's tendency to move up and down in price based on its daily price history over the latest 12 months. While this definition fixes only upon a single time frame, it illustrates how relative price swings reveal unique characteristics of market movement. Rate of change, ROC, indicators measure trending price over time. Volatility studies this same information, but first removes direction from the equation. It stretches waves of price movement into a straight line and then calculates the length. Volatile markets move greater distances over time than less volatile ones, but this internal engine has little value to swing traders unless it can contribute to profits. Fortunately, volatility has an important characteristic that enables accurate prediction. It tends to move in regular and identifiable cycles. As prices ebb and flow, volatility oscillates between active and inactive states. Swing traders can apply original techniques to measure this phenomenon in both the equities and futures markets. For example, 10 and 100 period historical volatility studies the relationship between cyclical price swings and their current movement. And Tony Crable's classic study of range expansion, day trading with short-term price patterns and opening range breakout, predicts volatility through patterns of wide and narrow price bars. Cross-Market Analysis Market action spins off both internal and external pattern cycles. Swing traders must consider both factors before executing their positions. The complex interplay of world markets works its way downward into individual stocks and futures on a daily basis, but accurate prediction of the exact impact during any given session requires a detailed understanding of macroeconomic forces and arbitrage between different entities. Consider the influence of the credit and futures markets before entering an equity position. A sudden sell-off in either of these exchanges can have an immediate effect on stock prices. Arbitrage between equities, futures, and credit also leads to intraday oscillation that runs through all exchanges. Observe this rhythmic movement on tick registers and in the cyclical price swing that runs through all major indices. Swing traders can use this well-known phenomenon to time executions that synchronize with these larger forces. Local influences change quickly from day to day. The markets constantly seek leadership. In the absence of larger forces, that role can shift at any time from the S&P futures to NASDAQ to the Dow 30 industrials. A major sector can suddenly move into the limelight and carry other markets higher or lower with little warning. These fluctuations may or may not affect any individual position. The swing trader must determine the potential impact quickly and shift strategy when required. Cross-market influences shift between local and worldwide forces. During quiet periods, simple arbitrage generates primary influence, but world events or broad currency issues may rise to the surface and shock American markets. Always defend active positions by staying informed and planning a safe exit in the case of an emergency. Avoid overnight holds during very volatile periods and think contrary at all times. The best opportunity may come right after the crowd jumps for the exits. Follow the charts of the major indices and S&P futures on a daily basis. Intraday traders should watch their real-time movement throughout each session. Keep track of the current bond yield and identify major support resistance levels. 
identify market leadership as early in the day as possible, then use that price action to predict the short-term flow of the market. When a macroeconomic event appears, consider taking the day off, unless a clear strategy emerges to capitalize upon it. Promising setups often fail badly on these days because they can't find the crowd to carry them. Reward Risk Swing trading requires a serious commitment to skill, knowledge, and emotional control. Treat it as a business at all times. Prepare a personal trading plan, carefully evaluate risk capital, and set attainable goals for the future. If personal bias expects this discipline to earn quick wealth, find another hobby immediately, or just take up gambling. The markets have no intention of offering money to those who do not earn it. And always remember this valuable wisdom. Attention to profit is a sign of trading immaturity, while attention to loss is a sign of trading experience. Show a willingness to forego marginal positions and wait for good opportunities to appear. Prepare to experience long periods of boredom between frantic surges of concentration. Expect to stand aside, wait, and watch when the markets offer nothing to do. Accept this unwelcome state as all successful participants do. The need for excitement makes a very dangerous trading partner. Careful stock selection controls risk better than any stop-loss system. Bad timing does more damage than sustaining large losses. Make wise choices before position entry and face less risk at the exit. Watch out for secondary gains that have nothing to do with profit. Trade execution will release adrenaline regardless of whether the position makes or loses money. Always face your true reasons for swing trading the markets. The primary motivation must be to aggressively take money out of someone else's pocket. Rest assured, the skilled competition will do their best to take yours at every opportunity. Every setup has a price that violates the pattern. The measurement from this breach to the trade entry marks the risk for the position. When planning execution, look for levels where price must move only a short distance to show that the trade was a mistake. Then expand this measurement to find the reasonable profit target, and apply this methodology to every new opportunity. Limit execution to positions where risk remains below an acceptable level, and use profit targets to enter markets that have the highest reward-risk ratios. Each swing trader carries a different risk tolerance, some find comfort flipping New York Stock Exchange behemoths, while others play low-float screamers. Follow natural tendencies, and remember that swing strategies use discretionary entry. The trader alone must decide when to enter, exit, or stand aside. Test overall results by looking at profit and loss at the end of each week, month, and year. Good results make money while bad results lose it. Mastering the Trade Consistent trading performance requires accurate identification of current market conditions and the application of appropriate strategies to capitalize upon them. Pattern cycles provide an effective method for price discovery through all charts and time frames. This expanded concept of swing trading offers diverse tools to uncover profit opportunities through continuous feedback, regardless of bull, bear, or sideways markets. But information does not equal profit. The markets have a limited number of opportunities to offer at any given time. Price charts evolve slowly from one promising setup to the next. In between, they emit divergent information in which definable elements of risk and reward conflict with each other. At times, this inconsistency yields important clues about the next trade. More often, it represents noise that must be ignored at all costs. The ability to tell the difference between the two marks an important passage on the road to trading success. Trading noise occurs during both positive and negative feedback. 
It simply represents those periods when participants should remain on the sidelines rather than jump into the action. Account capital has limitations and should only commit to the most promising setups. While effective strategies book profits, many participants experience anxiety between positions and tend to pull the trigger prematurely. Remember that longevity requires strict self-discipline. Swing traders unconsciously seek excitement in the place of profits during quiet market periods. Allow boredom to bring down the emotional level, and wait patiently for the next real thing. Both negative and positive feedback conditions produce rewarding trades, but confusion between the two can lead to major losses. Classic swing strategies work best during negative feedback. While positive feedback supports profitable momentum entry, avoid the danger of choosing the wrong strategy through consistent application of the expanded swing methods. Regarding of market phase, use this simple unified approach for all trade executions. Enter positions at low risk and exit them at high risk. These mechanics often parallel the buying at support and selling at resistance. Exercised in classic swing tactics, but this expanded definition allows entry into the realm of the momentum trader with safety and precision. Swing traders study both action and reaction when evaluating setups in the momentum environment. This demands complex planning and detached execution that aligns positions to the underlying trend, but against the current crowd emotion. This strategy naturally favors execution against traditional momentum tactics. Counter trend reactions provide excellent swing entry levels in momentum markets. Once filled, these positions find a comfortable exit on the next accelerating thrust, just as new participants jump in from the other direction. Highly experienced players can use more sophisticated techniques to locate less obvious low risk trade entry. And enter into accelerating momentum. These high volatility positions require tight trailing stops that protect risk capital. But successful exit strategy remains the same through diverse entry tactics. Look for acceleration and feed the position into the hungry hands of other participants, just as price pushes into a high risk zone. Execution must synchronize with momentum action reaction. Or it will yield frustrating results. Every player knows the pain of executing a low-risk entry, riding a profitable trend, but then losing everything on a subsequent reaction. Clearly defined swing exit tactics will avoid this unpleasant experience. Multi-trend technical analysis and cross-verification techniques identify probable reversal points well in advance of the price action. Unfortunately, most market participants do not visualize their exit when they enter a new position, and allow greed to overpower analysis as soon as it moves into a profit. The master swing trader always locates natural escape routes and major profit levels before new execution. Manage risk on both sides of the trade. Focus on optimizing entry exit points. And specialize in single direct price moves. Remember that execution of low-risk entries into mediocre positions allows more flexibility than high-risk entries into good markets. Avoid fundamental analysis of short-term trading vehicles. Mental bias from knowledge of a company's inner workings can distort the message of the price chart just when opportunity knocks. Swing trading allows many methods to improve profitability. Try to adjust position size, manage time more efficiently, or slowly scale out of winners to retain a piece for the next price thrust. But careful trade selection does more to build capital than any other technique. Enter new positions only when signals converge and send a clear message. Standing aside. Requires as much careful preparation as entry or exit, and must be considered before every execution. Winning is a tough game. Each swing trader must compete against all other participants to take their money. 
House rules ensure that the insiders always retain an advantage. Market makers and specialists use proven techniques to frighten small players and shake them out of positions. Exercise original strategies while controlling emotions with strong mental discipline to find that needed edge over the crowd. Use technical analysis and drill swing prices into memory. Target acceptable dollar and tick losses. Remember that the average position gain must be significantly higher than average loss, or survival will depend upon a winning percentage well above 60%. Improve results by reducing losses first, and increasing profits second. Keep current and accurate trading records. The mind will play cruel tricks when results depend on memory. Consider the real impact of available capital and leverage. The well-greased competition can overcome their transaction costs by trading large blocks. But small equity accounts must watch trade size and frequency closely. Frequent commissions and small capital will eventually end promising careers in speculation. When trying to grow a small account, lengthen holding period and go for larger profits per entry. And use any drawdowns as a major signal to lighten up and slow down. Chapter 2. Preparing for the Market Day The Closing Bell The closing bell signals the start of preparation for the next market day. Use this valuable time to measure current cycles and find winners for the next session. Probe markets for the best new opportunities and apply price chart techniques to identify the likely trading conditions. Take a look back and critique actions taken during the preceding session. Adjust watch lists to remove lost opportunities and add new stocks that show promise for the future. Update the personal trading plan and current strategy after reviewing the events of each session. Make small strategic adjustments on a daily basis, but do significant editing only after weeks of data mining and personal introspection. Look back at the day with complete honesty. Were exits taken when offered? Did hope replace good judgment? Were personal rules followed? And did that make a difference in the profit and loss statement? Make sure to revise all trading records daily to avoid a backlog of old tickets and account statements. Every market of interest generates new feedback as the trading day comes to a close. Trend lines break and shock gaps change important assumptions. Significant news may dictate new strategies or establish a fresh bias on short-term direction. Review specific issues that will likely move the markets when the new day begins. How has sentiment changed, and what impact will it have on the crowd? Quickly categorize the current market and refresh tactics that will respond to it. Review the economic calendar for important government reports. Exercise greater caution on Fridays that release the unemployment report or unwind options positions. If volatility will surge sharply due to unpleasant news or conditions, don't hesitate to take the day off and let the competition assume the risk. The market will still offer many opportunities after others get caught in sharp whipsaws or take dramatic profits. Avoid information overload. Set aside a reasonable time for preparation and limit analysis to focus on key stocks and indices in detail. Reduce watch lists, news, and charts until they conform to a healthy personal lifestyle. Get recreation, eat right, and get plenty of sleep before the new market day begins. Exhausted swing traders make terrible decisions. Use the quiet hours to locate and evaluate trade setups. Hurried analysis of new opportunities during the market day invites danger. Important charting features go unnoticed, and the pulse of the level 2 screen becomes difficult to ignore. The swing trader also faces many chores that interfere with clear-headed reward. Risk evaluation during the active session. 
prior preparation frees the schedule so that the active session can receive full attention. When the market opens, be prepared to respond to a flood of fresh data quickly and without hesitation. Apply original 3D chart skills that quickly filter opportunity and manage risk. Use new twists on classic strategies to place each issue within its pattern cycle and generate continuous feedback through all conditions. Watch the ticker closely to defend against external influences and exercise tactics that swing against the crowd to book consistent profits. Support Resistance Support Resistance, SR, organizes the charting landscape into well-marked levels that predict swings and breakouts. Price action at these important boundaries depends on their unique characteristics and specific locations within the trend range axis. Stocks can swing back and forth across a central SR pivot rather than find a floor or ceiling. Support resistance may present an absolute barrier that cannot be crossed or exhibit elasticity that can be stretched but not broken. In common horizontal SR, resistance becomes support when price mounts it and vice versa when it falls through. Swing traders earn their livelihoods as they find and execute setups along SR interfaces. Diverse SR boundaries print on every chart in all time frames. Most carry a unique load factor and will break when buying or selling intensity exceeds it. Once price pierces a level, it normally expands toward the next SR barrier. This mechanism provides the source for many profitable strategies. The classic swing trade buys at support and sells at resistance. Therefore, these levels define both reward and risk. Look to buy support when the nearest resistance is far above, and look to sell resistance when the nearest support is far below. But make sure the landscape hides no dangerous obstacles. A single overlooked level can have disastrous results. Profitability depends on accurate prediction at SR interfaces. The skilled eye must quickly locate these points and evaluate their impact on every setup. Begin with a dense chart template that layers all types of SR boundaries directly on price. Then study the individual elements and how each affects reward risk. Start with highs and lows in the longest applicable time frame and work down to recent price action. Pay special attention to shock events that may produce significant SR in a single bar. For example, Strong gaps can stay unfilled for many years. Apply a simple hierarchy that rates the importance of each SR feature. Horizontal levels that persist over time carry more weight than those from shorter periods. Major highs and lows provide stronger SR than moving averages or other price derivatives. Hidden levels offer cleaner opportunities than well-known ones, that invite whipsaws and fading strategies. SR strengthens when many barriers converge at the same price and weakens when a single obstacle blocks the progress of price movement. Cross-verification The complex interplay between different chart elements baffles many swing traders, They fail to evaluate all of the important SR influences that predict directional price movement. The rational mind naturally rebels against detailed analysis as it reduces incoming data into manageable pieces. This works against the swing trader's interest and may contribute to poor preparation. A lazy mind can catch a single SR level but miss a minefield of obstacles that a new position must face. Cross-verification searches the charting landscape to locate the primary signposts of trading opportunity. Common sense dictates that multiple crowd influences favor certain price levels over others. Swing traders can identify these setup intersections when they uncover those points where different SR types and time frames converge with each other. For example, a single level that points to a major high 
a 50% retracement of a larger trend, and the 50-day moving average strongly implies that certain important events will occur when price strikes that point. Prepare for the market day through a complete SR analysis that looks for convergence at specific price levels. The more elements that intersect through a single boundary, the higher the probability that this chart feature will support or resist price change. Four or more cross-verification points may appear at a single SR intersection and signal an excellent profit opportunity, but don't let fewer cross points discard promising trades. Many good setups exhibit less convergence, but display one significant entry with few barriers or points of interest in between. Trade execution at or near new highs raises special SR considerations. The high itself presents the only resistance barrier within the larger time frame. If shorter charting periods don't reveal smaller obstacles, the only required strategy decides whether to buy, sell, or maintain an active position on a test of that high. Of course, analysis of risk must also locate an easy escape route if the trade turns sour. Focus trade preparation on cross-verification to locate promising setups and measure reward risk. Look for price close to substantial support to identify low-risk long trades. Look for price close to substantial resistance to find low-risk short sales. Measure the distance between the entry and the next barrier within the holding period for the trade. This points to the intended exit and reasonable profit target, PT. Measure the distance between the entry and the price that confirms that the setup was wrong. This points to the unintended exit and reasonable failure target, FT. Execute only those trades with high PT and low FT distance. 3D Charting Successful swing trading begins with original tactics and accurate prediction. Excellent timing then enters a position just before bar expansion and exits as the crowd loses control. Careful planning guides the enterprise through every phase, and plans an escape route just in case things go sour. Trade time, price, and safety. Profits will quickly follow. Accurate forecasting requires the ability to see price movement in more than one dimension. Investors and institutions can often accomplish this task with a single price chart. Swing traders need more information and must watch the markets using 3D charting techniques. Identify three time frames that correspond to the chosen holding period. Find one segment above and one below the position focus. For example, Many intraday traders rely on 1-minute, 5-minute, and 60-minute charts, while many position traders manipulate 60-minute, daily, and weekly combinations. Not sure how long to maintain a position? Most swing traders should choose a specific holding period that reflects their lifestyle, and not change it until thoughtful planning presents an alternate strategy. The rational mind will turn poorly defined time frames into major losses. Trades become investments, and ex-traders become humbled investors. As strategies evolve, slowly experiment with different time frames. During these phases, prepare to answer the time question clearly before each trade execution. Write it down and stick to it, or success will not come easily. Building the Roadmap Markets give away their secrets to swing traders who take the time to look carefully. Building a detailed landscape on each chart reveals trend and pattern PowerPoints where important crowd forces will converge. These focused time price zones target the hidden points primed for reversals and breakouts. When the participant has a clearly defined plan of what to do when price hits one of these hot spots, they've learned the art of swing trading. Watch these points in real time whenever possible 
to decide whether or not the tape action supports the message of the pattern. Pull the trigger at or near the predetermined low-risk entry price after confirmation. The path to perfect trade entry is reached by thoroughly understanding each component of the 3D roadmap. Every convergence event triggers a different physical reaction. Experienced technicians measure the relative impact of each individual force and make consistently accurate predictions of subsequent price movement. Develop precise visual skills and don't rely on a toolbox of complex math-based indicators. Swing trading teaches discretionary execution based on convergence of time and price, but does not require mechanical models or systems. Realize that most indicators arise from very simple building blocks. Learn these basic components well, and hone that needed edge over the skilled competition. Pay attention to new forces at work within the charting landscape. Markets evolve to close off opportunities as quickly as they appear, and dependable support resistance, or SR levels, will fail as new dynamics work to defeat the majority. Long-term profit requires quick adaptation to new conditions, as old methods fail. Use the power of pattern cycles to identify and test fresh strategies that respond to major market changes. Candlesticks Candlestick history goes back much further than standard price bars. Japanese traders used them in the 18th century to forecast rice prices. According to legend, one local speculator executed over 100 consecutive winning positions by applying this simple tool. The military names for many candlestick formations arise from that era's feudal system. The pattern names that compare trading sessions to battles and blood remain valid 300 years later. Candlestick charts condense far more information than standard bar plots. They separate price range extremes within a chosen period from the central opening and closing values. The candlestick real body represents the core price action measured from open to close. Upper and lower shadows mark the range outside this boundary. Candlesticks illustrate intra-bar conflict between bulls and bears. They reveal price action in the time frame below the one measured by the chart. Forget most standard candle pattern definitions found in modern financial books. Concentrate on the few major formations that consistently point to crowd conflict and resolution. Every setup acts differently, depending on location, volume, and trend. See the truth, whether it confirms or disputes popular opinion. Undocumented patterns with strong predictive power appear every day. Learn to read the message of the candles, even if they don't carry a warrior identity. Most hidden archetypes of crowd excitement, panic, and reversal arise in the unconscious mind, and can be understood through trader intuition as well as analysis. Bollinger Bands Swing traders must investigate central tendency in every promising opportunity, Market action should spring back toward a center of gravity after extending sharply in either direction. This axis tends to support price from below and resist it from above during active markets. In flat range-bound periods, price action commonly oscillates back and forth across the pivot until volatility triggers a new directional impulse. Bollinger Bands, BBs, Focus analysis of central tendency in real time. As markets evolve, this powerful tool draws upper and lower channels that predict extremes based on price's relationship to the most recent action. To use the bands effectively, apply a central moving average that tunes into the expected holding period. Choose this important value carefully. Longer averages will lead to later signals, while shorter ones will generate whipsaws. Pick shorter settings for intraday charts, such as 5-minute and 60-minute bars. Swing traders can't afford late information when playing in this frantic time frame. 
expand to longer averages for daily or weekly charts, to uncover broad market cycles and emerging trends. Chart Polarity Interpreting the endless variety of patterns, indicators, bands, and lines can seem overwhelming. Fortunately, the market simplifies this process through its native polarity. Price action shifts movement between two polar states or flattens it toward a neutral middle. This underlying axis characterizes almost all market phases, conditions, and indicators. For example, prices can only rise or fall with directionless periods in between. This signals the existence of bull, bear, or sideways markets. Bull Bear Effective swing trading begins with identification of the current market phase, but strategies require more detailed information before trade execution. Start with the following question. How quickly are conditions changing? Do they represent broad or narrow events? How will volatility affect the trading environment? The answers may mark the difference between a simple price correction and a market crash. Bull markets represent periods in which strong buying pressure characterizes price movement. Bear markets represent periods in which strong selling pressure characterizes price movement. These graphic images have no correlation to a specific time frame, but commonly represent action on daily charts. The most popular view establishes the 200-day moving average as the interface between bull and bear markets within individual equities. This simple concept may confuse, at first glance, trends and bull-bear sentiment actually represent separate forces, an uptrend can exist within a bear environment, and vice versa. In fact, early phases of new trends often travel in a hostile atmosphere and without recognition by the crowd. Trend relativity also allows strong contrary movement in smaller time frames than the major bull-bear interface. Use this polarity to prepare pullback entry strategies. Identify the current sentiment and active trend within the market of interest, Watch for counter-trend pullbacks when both forces line up. Follow price until it reaches a strong SR level, and then execute a position as it realigns with the primary force. The active trend should reassert itself quickly and carry price back in the other direction. Reading Market Sentiment Successful swing traders start each market day with a thoughtful analysis of current conditions. Identify larger cycles, external influences, and important news that will likely drive price action. Then look at the most promising setups and decide whether they properly align with those complex forces. Evaluate any special risk associated with trading that day and decide how to alter execution strategy to adjust to the new environment. Should position size be increased or decreased? Should the first hour be avoided or aggressively traded? Are conditions ripe for a major rally, sell-off, or reversal? Review current sentiment, important numbers, and technical indicators. Define what types of unexpected factors will tighten or relax current trade management tactics. Write down those parameters to avoid getting fooled, if required. Then, execute according to the predetermined boundaries. Watch how the first hour action alters or adjusts this initial analysis. Then, shift the active strategy to accommodate real reversals, breakouts, or breakdowns as they exert their influence. But beware of costly trend relativity errors. Make certain that important market shifts occur within the time frame of interest before adjusting the trading plan to accommodate them. Avoiding the Momentum Trap Success depends on overall market strength or weakness and how well positions capitalize on the changing environment. Individual entries can act against sentiment and yield good profits, but over time the odds for success decrease when positions do not track movement in the larger indices and market cycles. Swing trading produces better results when riding the wave and not drowning in it. Markets tend to correct for many months at a time, 
but most participants focus on relatively brief periods of strong upside momentum, where they hope to pocket big gains. Unfortunately, these exciting times also awaken greed and weaken risk management. Participants violate personal rules, chase dangerous positions, and develop an unhealthy sense of invulnerability. Strategies that work well in hot markets destroy trading accounts during cool ones. Most players carry a long side momentum bias into topping markets and corrections. This triggers inappropriate positions, leads to missed opportunities, and empties the same pockets that filled so easily during parabolic rallies. Avoid this common trap as experience grows. Learn to read the broader market and adapt quickly to changing conditions. Build personal cycle measurements that bypass the financial press and stock board chatter. Use common sense to anticipate and test new profit strategies that the crowd may never see. Combine market sentiment and pattern cycles to locate the best opportunities of the moment. Broad forces align well with different setups on individual stocks. First, gauge current conditions and then decide what types of trades will work best in that environment. Make certain that strategies correspond to the same time frame as the analysis. When major indices converge, trade the same phase as their current pattern cycle whenever possible. When they don't, Choose positions that support general sentiment and current risk. Use SR barriers on both stocks and broader indices to time profitable exits. Swing traders must sell short as easily as they go long. This challenges the investor bias that most neophytes carry into modern markets. Many participants still don't understand many aspects of this classic trading practice. The financial establishment discouraged retail customers from learning about short sales for many years. The uptick rule made entry difficult, while Wall Street told practitioners that they were hurting the American economy so that they could keep this profitable strategy for themselves. Times have changed. Direct access execution systems now allow short sale entry as quickly as long positions. Learn to use them without delay. Pattern cycles require a broad range of execution strategies in both directions. Be prepared to adapt quickly to changes in market sentiment by learning simple ways to recognize new, broad-scale conditions. All sincere efforts will be greatly rewarded. The easiest trades always come early in a trend, before the crowd notices them. Profit from momentum markets, but don't fall in love with them. Increased risk always follows increased reward. Work to broaden execution skills and learn to trade anything that offers a good opportunity. Market players who hit many singles will last longer than those who knock a few home runs but strike out the rest of the time. Be consistent and make a good living through both up and down trends. The Big Picture Swing traders must digest a vast amount of market information to reach simple conclusions about opportunity and risk. Start with cross-market analysis and decide whether local or world influences will more likely move the price action. Stay aware of news or fundamental conditions that will impact the markets, but stay focused on the patterns and numbers. Except for shock events, Markets will follow the technicals, because insiders already trade most hidden news in advance of the public. The interplay among debt, currency, and commodities can dramatically affect the U.S. equity markets. These broad forces trigger arbitrage between index futures and debt that move stock prices and rob profits. Fortunately, most significant shifts between these world markets occur slowly, Swing traders can adequately prepare for their substantial impact through a few well-chosen news articles or weekly index chart analysis. Stay informed. Today's excitement won't move tomorrow's markets. Learn to recognize the big picture and anticipate leadership through background study of economics, the media, and world politics. Once grounded in the basics, just follow the financial news, and the most important message of the day will become obvious. 
Modern markets have a self-fulfilling mechanism that pushes the most emotional issues right to the top of the trading heap. Study these central themes first, and decide how serious or long-lasting their impact may be. Identify the leaders and laggards of the U.S. indices. Look at the pattern cycles for each index to find the current trading phases. Are they range-bound or trending? Are oscillators rising or falling? Do they converge or diverge? Each index has characteristics that affect and distort daily results. Take the time to learn their construction and how individual stock movement can generate lopsided information. For example, a Microsoft rally or sell-off on certain days in 1999 accounted for most price change in both the Dow 30 and Nasdaq 100. Follow those indices and measurements that impact daily decision-making. NASDAQ Composite, NASDAQ 100, S&P 500, and the Dow Industrials provide most of the data required to participate in the American markets. Swing traders can isolate many subsector rallies and sell-offs through these major influences. Also, follow the bond futures or bond yield and add smaller markets that generate special interest. But discard information quickly if it doesn't improve the bottom line. Finding Winners Work hard to find fresh opportunities in the equity markets. Start by throwing out most stocks as unsuitable for trading. These include REITs, real estate investment trusts, closed-end funds, ADRs, American Depository Receipts, and Utilities. Then eliminate the bottom half to two-thirds of all stocks sorted by average daily volume. Seek liquid stocks that allow low slippage entry and exit. This narrows down choices to about 2,000 issues. At any given time, 90% of these higher volume stocks lack the required characteristics to pocket a reasonable profit. So a daily scanning strategy must search for the 10% that hide decent setups and opportunities. And most times, yesterday's stocks won't match tomorrow's promising plays. So new scans must refresh an active list as old choices are discarded. Needle in the Haystack Swing traders have two ways to locate good setups. Find the stocks themselves or have someone else do it for them. Chat room picks and website scans offer great opportunities when they match individual trading styles and pose serious dangers when they don't. Always perform a personal analysis and never rely solely on someone else's opinion for any stock pick. Long-term success will not come from setups identified by someone else. That website operator, newsletter guru, or stock board promoter has a different holding strategy and execution method than any individual market participant. A daily planning routine should identify promising pattern cycle setups, measure reward risk, and locate appropriate execution levels in advance. Build an automatic filtering process that evaluates every stock pick, or scan objectively for these characteristics. The right workflow will uncover setups that support all three considerations. Realize that a single major flaw that doesn't fit into the trading plan will negate an opportunity. For example, avoid a well-formed triangle breakout if potential reward doesn't offer good profit or the pattern conflicts with other landscape features. Watch out for the tendency to see something that isn't there. Detailed review through scanning or chart study often uncovers the basic elements of a successful setup but offers no attractive entry. Unfortunately, this analysis process can induce a form of secondary reinforcement. It relaxes, puts the brain into game theory mode, and soothes the ego that sees all those past setups that could have been entered with perfect hindsight. This unconscious enjoyment encourages the mind to fill in the missing pieces on questionable new patterns. Always exercise rigid self-discipline when asking the eyes to look for opportunity. The most urgent preparatory task throws out almost everything that looked great the first time around. 
know when a setup has no potential, and be willing to move on to the next opportunity. Nightly preparation must uncover stocks that show so much promise that the swing trader just can't wait for the next session. But before the new day finally begins, take a second look at every setup that rang the dinner bell just the night before. Good prospects should not lose their luster in the morning glare. Remember this golden rule for finding consistent winners: if you have to look, it isn't there. Forget your college degree, and trust your instincts. Opportunity costs. Consider an offline charting package, and take the leap away from canned indicators. Use the package to find fresh opportunities that match the personal trading style. Software allows far more customization than the most sophisticated websites. It also offers the ability to modify the machine language behind popular calculations and bend numbers to individual needs. Don't confuse chart analysis packages with database programs. Software that focuses on intensive market scanning often provides a basic set of indicators that can easily be duplicated online. Charting programs will scan markets, but their strength lies in heavy numbers crunching. The net still provides a great place to find fresh scans, picks, and opportunities. Build a filtered list of stocks in promising setup positions. Then examine their charts in detail through multiple time frames at the best online services available. Construct a second stock watch list to review each day, regardless of short-term opportunity. Become highly familiar with how their prices change, how their spreads move, and how they react to general market conditions. While some active markets will offer a few good setups over time, search for those issues that generate bread and butter trades week after week. Avoid trading the most liquid short-term stocks. Seasoned professionals actively compete against each other in Dell Computer, Intel Corporation, Cisco Systems, and Microsoft Corporation. These stocks will crush most participants who lack extensive skill or experience. Note that the current trading style may not support their volatile price action. These high-volume stocks often move in price channels rather than simple lines. Any strategy that includes these behemoths must also address the drawdowns associated with this type of chart behavior. Every broker and execution system provides fast fills for some issues, and slow ones for others. Make sure to trade only what responds quickly, and avoid what doesn't. Direct access issues must have deep representation throughout electronic communication networks, or ECNs, or they will trigger heavy slippage. Discount brokers have order flow arrangements with wholesale market makers that favor certain stocks over others. Some may even fill as fast as ECN matching orders. Use this general rule for trade entry and exit. The longer the holding period, the less urgent the instant execution becomes. For example, big Nasdaq market makers spend so much time shaking out scalpers. That one to three day swing traders can easily fill low risk positions below this radar and turn consistent profits. Opportunity relates directly to the amount of time set aside for market analysis. Pick only one or two issues and follow them exclusively. If trading time is limited to a couple of hours per week, several hours per day. Presents the minimum commitment to successfully swing trade a variety of stocks. Increase the watch list size as dedicated time expands. Success comes more quickly trading two or three well-analyzed stocks than chasing twenty or thirty poorly understood ones. The ability to watch the markets in real time determines the appropriate trading strategy. Lengthen the holding period to multiple days when positions can't be followed tick by tick. Use both physical stops and limit orders to control risk. Real-time systems work best for the intraday swing trader and scalper.
The vast majority of market participants have a wide range of unrelated interests that take substantial attention during each session. Don't rely on snapshot quotes or net utilities hiding under the primary work window to manage trades. The boss will be standing right at the terminal just when the market really starts to move. Stock boards offer great places to chat with friends, but do terrible damage to a trading account. Almost everyone on the net has a hidden agenda, and all information must be treated with suspicion. Successful swing trading requires little knowledge about a company's underlying fundamentals. Chances are that participation on a board will only reinforce underlying bias. Be prepared to understand the truth regardless of whether it helps or hurts an active position. Technical traders don't believe in companies. They believe in the numbers. Only price, time, and risk should trigger trading actions. Know the charts inside and out without looking at them. Pinpoint the exact location of price within each chart's pattern cycle. Search for that support resistance or SR level where the crowd will jump in or where a falling knife can be caught with safety. Finding winners requires a level of emotional detachment that most individuals find very uncomfortable. Discomfort and profit often stand side by side. Building Watch Lists Modern technology offers fast access to short-term stock watch lists. Free online services scan markets in real time and output leaders' laggards in many categories. But over time, swing traders find that these listings don't address their growing needs, and they start to build their own custom databases. These valuable tools rapidly organize market information and scan for impending setups, often in real time. Scans provide an efficient method to uncover subsets of the market universe that match individual risk tolerance. Experience develops an affinity for stocks that define sectors, liquidity, and volatility. Scan filters target these unique quirks and do an excellent job focusing on specific information needs. Most CD and online market databases now contain entire exchanges of individual issues. Create a subset of this total stock universe to isolate all of the major categories and sectors of interest. Many database services let users define custom scans that include technical strength rankings and filter output through volume, market capitalization, and price earnings growth. But avoid too many rules and filters. That beaten-up sector in today's market could become liquid and volatile in a relatively short period of time. So program the scans to capture these gems when they finally wake up from the dead. Carefully evaluate how trading account size will impact the watch list. In general, available capital will rule out positions over or under certain price levels. Some retail traders may avoid issues over $100, while many professionals won't look at stocks valued under $30 to $40. Small accounts should avoid the tendency to trade very low-priced stocks in the false belief that this will overcome undercapitalization. High relative spreads on these issues negate their greater percentage price movement. Bigger fortunes grow in small accounts that control risk than in those that chase quick rewards. Scan by exchange as well as individual stock characteristics. NASDAQ's popularity for short-term execution makes it the preferred choice for intraday traders. But position traders often conclude that the New York Stock Exchange provides better opportunities for gain with controlled risk. Most participants can build effective watch lists through this simple method. Retain the upper half of the New York Stock Exchange, but only the top one-third of NASDAQ. Avoid thinner NASDAQ stocks unless executing trades through a direct access terminal that routinely fills between the spread. 
Without an execution advantage, illiquid stocks steal profits and ruin risk management. For long side opportunities, consider an additional filter to sort low volume issues by relative strength. Save only the best output from this group and add them to the universe of liquid stocks. The 1,000 to 3,000 stocks that survive the first scanning process become the raw material for end-of-day trading analysis. Run these issues through custom criteria that create separate watch lists to target specific stock plays or setups. Remember that the best scans will build multiple filters on top of one another. The size of these subsequent output lists must match the time available for preparation. It makes no sense to uncover great setups that will never be traded. Consider unique scan criteria to uncover promising short sales. Keep in mind that these issues require greater average volume to minimize the dangers of the short squeeze. They also take more effort to locate. While strong stocks usually make good long positions, weak stocks may not produce good short sales. Markets fall faster than they rise, and with less warning. Custom scans must account for the fear-driven characteristics that produce quick declines. Use scans to pick out emerging trends in addition to imminent setups. Create and manage a separate core group of 50 to 100 major issues to review nightly. Add active output from this list to the top picks from the specific setup groups. This produces a final hot list to focus the swing trader's attention during the following session. Try to follow these stocks on a tick-by-tick -tick basis to catch the predetermined execution price. If this list outputs too much to watch during market hours, create an abbreviated group of 20 to 30 stocks and discard the rest. Alter the hot list each evening, but keep the core group for months at a time. Chapter 3. Analyzing the Market Pattern Cycles Original market analysis must uncover high-probability setups, point to exact entries, and tell swing traders when they're wrong. It must apply to all time frames, be intuitive, and support accurate, real-time decision-making. This versatile tool must work through all markets, provide continuous feedback, and make trading simple yet profitable. Pattern cycles fulfill these demanding characteristics. They provide a complete, powerful method to locate opportunity regardless of market conditions. These classic stages evolve as the charting landscape repeats common and predictable elements. Since markets cannot travel upward to infinity or downward below zero, well-marked ranges evolve within each time frame. Trends slowly awaken at these narrow levels and shoot forward in emotional waves. Stocks and their related charts cycle through a finite number of bull and bear conditions. Price bars shape common patterns over and over again through impulses that may last only a few seconds or persist for decades. When swing traders recognize the separate stages of this market evolution, their skilled vision awakens to a world of low-risk opportunity. Learn the well-marked steps of pattern cycle development and discover the hidden language of the master pattern. Chart polarity appears everywhere in the financial markets. Pattern cycles feed off this axis to simplify decision-making. Use their mechanics to register market trends quickly and see profit setups at logical interfaces. They offer a potent visual tool that unites left and right brain functions. The pattern-trained eye intuitively sees natural execution levels that can then be verified through objective measurement. No complex or math-driven trading system will respond more quickly to changing price in real-time market conditions. Pattern cycles evolve through the engine of greed and fear. The emotional crowd acts in a predictable manner through chart patterns. 
This herd behavior translates into directional movement that offers a rich source for profits. But the swing trader must first define a competitive relationship with the crowd as part of every new analysis. This requires an understanding of how insiders may fade popular response to obvious trading opportunities. Look for a low-risk execution target, ET, in each pattern cycle setup. This elusive trigger identifies the optimum price, time, and risk parameters for each intended entry. Find this important action level through analysis, experience, and common sense. Then determine whether the next few sessions should activate its specific criteria. If not, filter out the setup and move on to the next pattern. Never compromise an ET to force a position. Use it as a situational filter to avoid very bad timing. Bottoms Bottoms print as a direct result of pattern cycle physics. The natural movement of impulse and reaction dictates that two unique formations must develop at some point within each cycle. In an uptrend, a lower high will eventually follow a higher high and mark a new top. In a downtrend, the sequence of lower lows will finally end when price forms a higher low. This second event marks the birth of the double bottom. Double bottoms draw their predictive power from the trends that precede them. Downtrends often accelerate as a series of lower lows prints on a bar chart. The trading crowd notices and develops a gravity bias that expects the fall to continue unabated. Then, suddenly, the last low appears to hold. The crowd takes notice and bottom fishers slowly enter new positions. Apparent price stability triggers more players to recognize the potential pattern and jump in. Stock percentage growth potential peaks at the very beginning of a new uptrend. For this reason, being right at a bottom can produce the highest profit for any trade. But picking bottoms can be a very dangerous game. Swing traders must weigh all evidence at their disposal before taking the leap and exercise strict risk discipline to ensure a safe exit if proven wrong. Losses must be taken immediately upon violation of the prior low. Manage risk defensively. Bottoms occur in downtrends. The greedy eye wants to believe the immature formation, and fast execution fingers may bypass better judgment. Even spectacular reversals offer little profit if price can't ascend back out of the hole it came from. Violation of the prior low presents the natural first choice for stop loss. Make certain the entry permits a safe exit for an acceptable loss at this location. Don't stick around long if the uptrend begins to fail. Price will gather downside momentum quickly at broken lows as it searches for new support. Successful bottom entry requires a strong stomach. Highly negative sentiment infects these volatile turning points, even when all SR and other technicals line up. But the profit potential for these classic setups presents very high reward risk. In addition to new longs ready to speculate on a good upside move, high short interest will fuel explosive impulses off these levels. Perhaps for this reason alone, Swing traders must explore the secrets of double-bottom execution. Breakouts Significant declines evolve into long basing periods characterized by failed rallies and retesting of prior lows. But as new accumulation slowly shakes out the last crowd of losers, a bear market's character changes. Price starts to rally toward the top of key resistance. Short-term relative strength improves, and the chart may print a series of bullish bars with closing ticks near their highs. Finally, the issue begins a steady march through the wall marked by previous failures. Stocks must overcome gravity to enter new uptrends. Value players build bases, but can't supply the critical force needed to fuel strong rallies. Fortunately, the momentum crowd arrives just in time to fill this chore. 
as a stock slowly rises above resistance, greed rings a loud bell, and these growth players jump on board, all at the same time. The appearance of a sharp breakout gap has tremendous buying power, but the swing trader must remain cautious if the move lacks heavy volume. Bursts of enthusiastic buying must draw wide attention that ignites further price expansion. The gap may fill quickly and trap the emotional longs when significant volume fails to appear. Non-gapping high-volume surges provide a comfortable breakout floor similar to gaps, but support can be less dependable and force a stock to swing into a new range rather than rise quickly. Markets need time to absorb instability generated by rapid price movement. They pause to catch their breath as both volume and price rate of change drop sharply. During these consolidation periods, new ranges undergo continuous testing for support and resistance. To the pattern reader, these appear as the familiar shapes of flags, pennants, and triangles. Relatively simple mechanics underlie the formation of these continuation patterns. The orderly return to a market's mean state sets the foundation for a new thrust in the same direction. Price pulls back with declining volume, but does not violate any significant support. The primary trend reasserts itself as stability returns. Swing traders must pay close attention to proportionality when examining continuation patterns. This visual element will validate or nullify other predictive observations. Constricted ranges should be proportional in both time and size to the trends that precede them. When they take on dimensions larger than expected from visual examination, odds increase that the observed range actually relates to a broader trend than the rally just completed. This can trigger devastating trend relativity errors, in which traders base execution on patterns longer or shorter than the targeted holding period. Evaluate all patterns within the context of this trend relativity. A constricted range exists only within the time frame under consideration. For example, a market may print a strong bull move on the weekly chart, a bear on the daily, and a tight continuation pattern on the five-minute bars, all at the same time. A range drawn through one time frame does not necessarily signal swing conditions in the other periods that particular market trades through. Rallies Wave impulses correspond with the crowd's emotional participation. A surging first wave represents the fresh enthusiasm of an initial breakout. The new crowd then hesitates and prices drop into a counter-trend second wave. This coils the action for the rising greed of the runaway third wave. Then, after another pullback slowly awakens fear, the manic crowd exhausts itself in a final fifth wave blow-off. Primary wave setups require very little knowledge of the underlying theory. Just look for the five-wave trend structure in all time frames. While these price thrusts may seem hard to locate, the trained eye can uncover wave patterns in many strong uptrends. Trading strategy follows other types of swing tactics. Locate smaller waves embedded within larger ones, and execute positions at convergent points where two or more time frames intersect. These cross-verification zones capture major trend, reversal, and breakout points. For example, the third wave of a primary trend often exhibits dynamic vertical motion. This single thrust can hide a complete five-wave rally within the next smaller time frame. Locate this hidden pattern and execute a long position at the third of a third, one of the most powerful wave phenomena within an entire uptrend. Dynamic third waves often trigger broad continuation gaps. These occur just as emotion replaces reason and they frustrate good swing traders. Many exit positions on the bars just prior to the big gap because common sense dictates that the surging stock should retrace. Use timely wave analysis and a strong stomach to anticipate this big move before it occurs. 
It often prints right after several vertical bars close near the top of their ranges. Look for the last bar to reach right into broad resistance. Price should jump beyond that level on the gap. Fourth wave corrections initiate the sentiment mechanics for the final fifth wave. The crowd experiences an emotional setback as this counter trend slowly generates fear through a sharp downturn or long sideways move. The same momentum signals that carry the crowd into positions now roll over and turn against it. But as the herd prepares to exit, the trend suddenly reawakens, and price again surges into a new wave. The crowd loses good judgment during this final fifth wave. Both parabolic moves and aborted rallies occur here with great frequency. Survival through the last sharp counter trend, fourth wave, builds an unhealthy sense of invulnerability into the crowd mechanics. Movement becomes unpredictable, and the uptrend ends suddenly, just as the last greedy participant jumps in. Highs Swing traders discover great rewards in uncharted territory. Stocks at new highs generate unique momentum properties that ignite sharp price movement. But these dynamic breakouts can also demonstrate very unexpected behavior. Old SR battlegrounds disappear at new highs, and few chart references remain to guide execution. Risk escalates with each promising setup in this volatile environment. The final breakout to new highs completes a stock's digestion of overhead supply. But the struggle for greater price gains still continues, these strong markets often undergo additional testing and base building before resuming their dynamic uptrends. Watch this building process through typical pattern development seen during these events. New high stocks may return to test the top of prior resistance several times. This can force a series of stepping ranges before trend finally surges upward. Some issues go vertical immediately when they enter these breakouts, New high trade analysis faces the challenge of predicting which outcome is more likely. Let accumulation distribution indicators and the developing pattern guide decision-making at these interfaces. Accumulation distribution indicators, or ACDIS, consistently signals whether new highs will escalate immediately or just mark time. Price either leads or lags accumulation. When stocks reach new highs without sufficient ownership or buying pressure, they will usually pause to allow these broad forces to catch up. When accumulation builds more strongly than price, the initial thrust to new highs confirms the indicator's signal. Odds then favor that the breakout will trigger a fresh round of buying interest and force price to take off immediately with no basing phase. How long should a rally last when a stock breaks to new highs? Physics teaches that the star that burns brightest extinguishes itself long before one that emits a cooler, darker light. So it is with market rallies. Parabolic moves cannot sustain themselves over the long haul. Alternatively, stocks that struggle for each point of gain eventually give up and roll over. So logic dictates that the most durable path for uptrends lies somewhere in between these two extremes. Overbought conditions trigger a decline in price momentum and illustrate one ever-present danger when trading new highs. Stocks may stop rising at any moment and start extended sideways movement. Watch rallies closely to uncover early warning signs for this range development. The first break in a major trend line that follows a big move flags the end of a trend and beginning of sideways congestion. Exit momentum-based positions until conditions once again favor rapid price change. In this environment, consider counter-trend swing trades if reward risk opens up good opportunities. But stand aside as volatility slowly dissipates and crowd participation fades. Tops. No trend lasts forever. 
Crowd enthusiasm eventually outpaces a stock's fundamentals, and the rally stalls. But topping formations do not end up trends all by themselves. This stopping point may only signal a short pause that finally yields to higher prices, or it may represent a long-term high just before a major collapse. Learn to evaluate topping ranges by understanding the psychology that drives them. Then, get in the reversal door early and allow the herd to trigger sharp price expansion. Classic topping formations take forever to issue their reversal signals. Head and shoulders and double tops draw complex distribution patterns as the crowd slowly loses faith. While the swing trader waits, the herd takes notice of the action and all stand together to wait for the eventual breakdown. Since common knowledge offers few good opportunities, access to early warning of trend change provides a needed edge for profit. Every popular topping formation draws its own unique pattern features, but all tell a common tale of crowd disillusionment. Whether it evolves through the loss of faith of the head and shoulders or the slow capitulation of the rising wedge, the final result remains the same. Price breaks sharply to lower levels, while unhappy stockholders unload positions as quickly as they can. Value and improving fundamentals attract knowledgeable holders early in a rally, but the motivation for new participants degenerates as an uptrend progresses. News of a budding stock rally creates excitement and attracts a greedier crowd. These momentum players slowly outnumber the value investors, and price movement becomes more volatile. The issue continues upward as this frantic buying crowd feeds on itself, well beyond most reasonable price targets. Both fire and ice can kill uptrends. As long as the greater fool mechanism holds, each new long allows the previous one to turn a profit. But the right conditions eventually come along to force a climax to the upside action. A shock event can suddenly erupt to kill the buying enthusiasm and force a sharp reversal. Or the trend's fuel may just run out as the last buyer takes a final position. In either case, the stock loses its ability to defy gravity and stops rising. Many swing traders mistakenly assume bulls turn into bears immediately following a dramatic high-volume reversal. They enter ill-advised short sales well before the pattern physics rob the crowd's enthusiasm. These early sales provide fuel for the intense short covering rallies that most topping formations exhibit. Keep in mind that reversals only turn trends into sideways markets. Topping patterns must complete before they turn sideways markets into declines. Limit entry to classic fade strategies at the edges of SR until the breakdown begins. Then initiate trend-following short sales to capitalize on crowd disillusionment and panic. Reversals most swing traders really don't understand how or why patterns predict outcomes. Some even believe these important tools rely on mysticism or convenient curve fitting. The simple truth is more powerful. Congestion patterns reflect the impact of crowd psychology on price change. Shock and fear quickly follow the first reversal but many shareholders remain true believers and expect their profits will return after selling dissipates. They continue to hold their positions as hope slowly replaces better judgment. This initial sell-off carries further than anticipated, and their discomfort quickly increases. But just as pain begins to escalate, the correction suddenly ends, and the stock firmly bounces. For many longs, this late buying and short covering reinforces a dangerous bias that they were right all along. Renewed confidence even prompts some to add new positions. But smarter players have a change of heart and view this new rally as their first chance to get out whole. They quietly exit, and the strong bounce loses momentum. The stock once again rolls over and draws the second lower top of the evolving pattern. Those still holding long positions 
then watch the low of the first reversal with much apprehension. Prior counter-trend lows draw scalpers and investors familiar with double-bottom behavior. As price descends toward the emotional barrier of the last low, they step in and stop the decline. But the smart money stands aside, and the subsequent bounce only draws in new investors with very bad timing. As the pattern draws its third peak, the last bullish energy dissipates from the crisscross price swings. Price continues to hold up through this sideways action, but relative strength indicators signal sharp negative divergence. Momentum indicators roll over, and Bollinger Bands contract as price range narrows. The scalpers depart, and this final bounce quickly fades. Shorts now smell blood and enter larger positions. Fear increases and stops build just under the double low shelf. Price returns for one final test as negative sentiment expands sharply. Price and volatility then contract right at the breaking point. The bulls must hold this line, but the odds have shifted firmly against them. Recognizing the imminent breakdown, swing traders use all upticks to enter new short sales and counter any weak bull response. Finally, the last positive sentiment dies and horizontal support fails. As the sell stops trigger, price spirals downward in a substantial decline. Stock charts print many unique topping formations. Many can be understood and traded with very little effort. But the emotional crowd also generates many undependable patterns as greed slowly evolves into mindless fear. Complex rising wedges will defy the technician's best efforts at prediction, while the odd diamond formation will burn trading capital as it swings randomly back and forth. Avoid these fruitless positions and seek profit only where the odds strongly favor the predicted outcome. First, locate the single feature common to most topping reversals. Price draws at least one lower high within the broad congestion before violating the major uptrend. This simple double top mechanism becomes a primary focus for short sale planning. Use this well marked signpost. To follow price outward to its natural breaking point, and enter when support fails. Declines. The same crowd that lifts price provides the fuel for a subsequent decline. Longs build false confidence after rally momentum fades and a topping pattern forms. As smart money quietly exits, the uptrend hits a critical trigger point. The bulls suddenly realize that they are trapped. They start to dump the stock in an attempt to salvage profits. Price breaks support, and selling spirals downward through wave after wave. Common features appear in most price declines. Volume repeatedly surges through waves of selling pressure, while false bottoms print and then quickly fail. Violent converging rallies erupt to shake out poorly timed short sales and offer hope to wounded longs. Price carries well past rational targets, but just as panic builds, the stock finds a sustainable bottom. The swing trader capitalizes upon this repeating market behavior through the same wave mechanics that guide strong rallies. But fear replaces greed during sell offs. And invokes different setup considerations. When R. N. Eliot discussed primary trend waves in the 1930s, he noted the special characteristics of downtrends through the five-wave decline (five WD) pattern. This price correction structure remains as effective today as it was many decades ago, and swing traders can apply its power without understanding the broad Eliot wave theory. Because it captures the fear of the emotional herd. Recognizing trends. Markets alternate between constricted range and directional trend. Ranges emit negative feedback, a directionless state in which cumulative bars or indicators wobble between defined boundaries. Trends emit positive feedback, in which each bar or indicator builds on the previous one and clearly points in a single direction. 
This powerful axis overrides all other considerations for the swing trader. These opposing forces constantly battle to print the varied patterns that form the core of technical analysis. This primary trend range axis underlies price charts through all time frames and markets. Learn to recognize each element by watching how price reacts to important levels. Then focus on key relationships that effectively predict market movement through convergence divergence over a small number of bars or candles. Remember to answer the three important trend range questions in every setup analysis. What is the current trend or range intensity? What is the expected direction of the next price move? When will this move occur? Trading profits depend on the trend range axis. Individual stocks struggle through a constant cycle of synergy, balance, and conflict as trend intensity and direction shift alignment through different time frames. The most dynamic trends arise when multiple periods stack up into directional positive feedback. The most persistent ranges emerge when divergence generates negative feedback through many views and stalls price change. Negative feedback initiates many of the classic chart patterns popularized in recent years. The head and shoulders, triangle and wedge formations all reflect the discordant swings within a range-bound market. Swing traders must recognize new range conditions early and shift out of momentum strategies if they choose to remain in the game. Constricted price action requires selling strength and buying weakness at the extremes of the congestion. The transition from negative feedback into positive feedback represents a high profit interface. Volatility, bar width, and volume all decline as a range-bound market nears its conclusion. Participation fades, and many traders move on to other opportunities. But right at these quiet, empty zones, EZs, the odds for price expansion sharply increase. The narrow bars encourage very low-risk entry, where even a small move against the position signals a violation. Examine the overall congestion pattern to identify which side of the trade to enter. The EZ rarely registers on technical indicators, since most mathematics can't digest the flat-line conditions. Use short-term bar range analysis to locate this interface. The NR7 the narrowest range bar of the last seven bars, offers one classic method to find the elusive EZ. The next bar after an NR7 will often trigger a major breakout. If it doesn't, the appearance of an NR7-2, the second NR7 day in a row, may ring an even louder bell. Odds then sharply increase for a major bar expansion event. Learn to recognize the early warning signs for a trend change. The evolution from trending into a range-bound or reversing market forces a shift in trading strategies to capitalize on the new conditions. First rise, first failure provides one effective visual tool to beat the competition at this task. Get defensive when price gives up 100% of the last move. Then apply classic swing tactics until the intermediate high or low gets taken out. Trend Mirrors Price remembers. Past battles between bulls and bears leave their mark long after the fight ends. As stocks pass through old price levels, they must continually navigate the trading debris generated by these prior events. These trend PowerPoints mark their existence through dramatic SR zones, sharp volume spikes, and runaway gapping thrusts. But rather than add confusion, this scarred battleground provides technicians with a trading map of incredible value. Use trend mirrors, TMs, to interpret these volatile chart zones. Look horizontally at past action to predict where price bars should bounce or fail. Current movement will often mimic the angle and extent of past patterns. TMs locate SR hotspots just as clear air targets bar expansion. When price action swings repeatedly off either side of a mirror, odds increase that bars will act the same way during the next pass. These chart memory levels can act as classic SR or mark a swing axis for price to shift back and forth. 
Each type requires an appropriate trading response. This intricate puzzle of time and price requires skill to solve. The TM landscape defines profitable execution points throughout the range from old low to new high. But an infinite variety of external forces can overcome a stock's natural tendency to reverse at exactly the same level it did in the past. Choppy action may repeat itself when price returns, or one singular event may draw so much interest that other relative landscape features become undependable. Pass on low reward conditions and seek TM levels that stand out dramatically as the current trend pushes toward them. Then seek cross verification for the anticipated setup through moving averages, central tendency, and retracement tools. Mirrors have a finite shelf life. As time passes, individual characteristics of prior trends reinforce or soften through subsequent price discovery. Common sense dictates that the more often that support holds through testing, the stronger it becomes. So when price finally breaks support, Odds increase that it will break again on future swings. This testing creates a simple hierarchy that the swing trader applies to evaluate the strength of these price levels. Use it the same way as trend line analysis. In other words, place larger bets when levels hold for longer periods. Exercise caution on single past events and noisy patterns. The combination of gaps, spikes, and surging volatility can overwhelm analysis. But beneath this complex landscape lies order and structure. Lay a Fibonacci grid across prior trend movement, and many terrain features will stand out right at major retracement levels. Add moving averages to enclose the price activity within known SR behavior. Draw trend lines and parallel price channels to cross-verify expected turning points. Opportunities should stand out at important price intersections after layers are applied. Complex price action develops when trend breaks into levels where multiple swings took place in the past. The odds favor a new range of the same duration as prior passages through these zones. These offer excellent setups if they display clear horizontal SR boundaries. Past persistence improves the odds for successful fades off each edge of the congestion. One quick way to measure the range's potential endurance is to count the number of individual swing moves in the past. The higher the total number of swings, the longer the fade strategy should work before price finally surges out of the congestion. The mirror also reveals which side of the swing contains the higher reward or risk. But make sure to look for other landscape features that might signal an earlier breakout from these profitable zones. Trend mirrors can generate at many different SR angles. Visible trend emerges from many small trendlets of divergent activity. Both upward and downward trendlets can contribute to price movement at the same time. And normal trend lines or channels may not fully contain these odd impulses, Trendlets will skip several crosses over a period of months or years, but then reassert themselves just as everyone concludes that they no longer exist. Past price action exerts a powerful influence on current price activity, but don't assume that each impulse will stop right at the tick where it did a year or two ago. Trend development combines many diverse forces to reach the printed outcome, but swing traders can still isolate key past influences on current price, and make skilled judgments about where major reversals will occur. Ride the trend coaster and appreciate the diverse elements that influence markets. Focus the eyes narrowly at the beginning of a major move and follow the price action bar by bar until the crowd emotions pop out of the chart. Better yet, page back through the charting program so that the beginning of the move is up against the hard right edge and then step forward one bar at a time. Discover that each trend has a different identity and emotional nature. This sentiment guides how greed and fear will interact to trigger reversals at important turning points. Study a market's TM history to examine these underlying emotions. New profit opportunities will suddenly appear out of the restless action. Volume and the Pattern Cycle Crowd action reaction emits volume benchmarks at key price levels. 
measure this unique past participation against current activity to determine the relative importance of fresh events. Regardless of holding period, watch these primary reference points when price returns to test key levels, but always examine volume within the proper context. A single bar's narrow impact may lead to poor interpretation of the market's underlying direction. Use volume history analysis to place the recent action into proper perspective within the recent trend. The intermediate daily time frame provides a common basis for volume moving average, or VMA, computation. The 50 or 60 day VMA contrasts prior crowd participation with the current action for all liquid stocks through all exchanges. Use this simple measurement as a central tendency tool that gauges the crowd's emotional intensity in real time. The crowd sends a significant signal when volume exceeds 150% of the daily average. If daily volume falls below 50% of the average, look for dull and directionless trading to characterize that market. Volume peaks and valleys occur naturally within normal price evolution. They also tend to alternate in a cyclical pattern that parallels trend range axis phases. Compare price placement within that axis against volume's central tendency deviation to identify impending feedback shifts. For example, expect lower than normal participation within extended range formations. When volume suddenly peaks well above average within these constricted zones, it often signals an imminent breakout into a new trend. Don't be fooled by seasonal volume aberrations. January draws significant new cash into the markets as investors replenish mutual fund coffers. Summer trading limps through the lowest participation of the year. Insiders and institutions take off for the beaches during holiday markets throughout the year, leaving few movers and shakers on the scene. And options expiration triggers heavy position shifts the middle Friday of each month. Trends and Volume Expect volume to increase in the direction of the primary trend. Look for higher volume on up bars than down bars as prices rise during rallies. Reverse this during sell-offs. In uptrends, more volume on sell-offs than rallies generates divergence that may foretell an impending change in trend. In downtrends, divergence again signals when volume shrinks on sell-offs and rises on rallies. Volume can flash an early signal for an impending reversal when it deviates sharply from the volume moving average, or VMA, during an active trend. Declining directional volume suggests a loss of crowd interest. After a while, the stock may fall of its own weight. Alternatively, when volume peaks too sharply or quickly, it can short-circuit and blow off movement in the prevailing price direction. These high-volume climax events wash out both buyers and sellers as efficiently as lack of interest. They often mark major tops or bottoms. Moderate volume supports underlying trends for long periods of time. It often reflects participation very close to the VMA, with few spikes or valleys. The flow of enthusiasm or discouragement generates price change that feeds on itself and allows one group after another to toss coins into the wishing well. Look for this phasing action on log charts that print rhythmic 45-degree patterns with repeated pullbacks to short-term moving averages. New trends awaken, with price or volume leading the emerging directional force. Better trading opportunities with fewer whipsaws appear if volume builds first. When crowd enthusiasm leads price, accumulation distribution indicators, or ACDIS, should exert a strong pull on its twin. Like a coiled spring, price eventually snaps forward to relieve the tension. For obvious reasons, swing traders want to enter positions just before this happens. But precise timing can frustrate the most promising volume-based strategies. ACDIS price divergence can persist for long periods without quick release. New breakouts depend on volume support. Subsequent trend survival requires that price and volume move into convergence very early after the move. As price thrusts into all-time highs or pre-traveled trend mirrors, or TMs, 
Current act this must support the next move. Fresh price levels place hidden demands on volume. New high breakouts require ample participation, as well as alignment between act this and price. Breakouts into TM levels force volume to digest past supply and emotional scars. Divergence builds quickly and triggers sharp whipsaws when new participation at these levels can't absorb the resistance. Volume often spikes well above short-term VMAs during major breakouts. Greed and fear drive participation as the crowd recognizes the active trend. Volume can quickly exceed historical levels and surge for many bars at new highs or lows. Both strong uptrends and downtrends display similar volume signatures. High participation prints sharp gaps at emotional trend peaks, while short pullbacks exhibit declining interest. Few wish to exit trend-following positions in this active environment. Swing traders watch closely for signs of a blow-off as trend advances. This important reversal reveals itself through volume that spikes well above recent action, while related price bars expand and turn in failure. This climax event flags the end of the current trend and beginning for a new range period. Use candlestick patterns to quickly uncover these major reversals. Dark cloud cover, shooting star, and doji patterns all print frequently during blow-offs. The trend's last phase reflects the most active crowd participation in a bull-bear cycle. This frantic action corresponds with Elliott's fifth wave parabolic activity and sets the stage for the ensuing climax burnout. Once the event occurs, volume again surges when price approaches these levels from above or below. Extremes that print during blow-offs take great participation to violate. For this reason, fade early pullbacks to these climax bars through classic swing tactics. The reversal odds remain very strong, as long as volume dries up on the move back toward the high or low. Intraday Trading Volume Avoid overinterpretation of intraday volume trends. 60% or more of total daily participation occurs during the first and last hours. Swing traders design signals to trigger during favorable volume. But this intraday bias distorts output that applies to very short time frames. Limit most intraday examination to histograms. Also, consider eliminating lower pain volume indicators to focus attention on the time and sales ticker. This real-time oscillator provides all the crowd information needed to execute successfully within very short-term holding periods. Routine intraday volume consistently displays a high noise-to-signal ratio for all but the most liquid stocks. Intermittent peaks and valleys on five-minute histograms contain few predictive properties and fail badly when block trades pass through the system. These institutional blocks distort the trading picture since large transactions often scroll well after the actual execution takes place. Noise decreases as liquidity increases. For example, the technology behemoths generate unique intraday volume properties as a massive crowd generates a virtual index market. Sufficient participation within each tick allows fluid data measurement and accurate price forecasting. The best volume signals in this liquid environment come at short-term tops or bottoms. Histogram spikes that converge with clear reversal bars trade as reliably as those that print on a daily or weekly chart. Effective intraday trading studies the short-term impact of volume characteristics on the daily chart. This data identifies markets that are ripe for new opportunities, as well as those best avoided. As current market price approaches past high-volume battle zones, intraday traders can expect a repeat performance. This advance warning allows them to watch specific markets for signs of increased volatility. Daily histograms also pinpoint developing breakouts and runaway trend moves that mark the most profitable of all intraday setups. Many stocks become good intraday trading vehicles under the right circumstances. Sudden news events, warnings, or alliances can evoke several days of high-volume activity on relatively thin issues. 
spreads narrow sharply as participants jump in and out of these temporary profit vehicles. Use watch list filters or online stock sites nightly to uncover and capitalize upon these temporary gems. Reading the Crowd Volume breathes differently than price. Narrow action may yield sharp emotional behavior or an unexpected lack of participation. Each outcome carries different consequences for swing traders. This crowd measurement tool works well on daily charts, but consistently undermines intraday signals. It offers both early warnings and dead ends, often at the same time. Volume reflects a crowd psychosis that often makes little sense in the short term, but turns highly predictable at key intersections of trend and time. Successful swing trading requires skillful interpretation of the herd mentality that drives price change. Develop a seasoned understanding of volume's impact on the stock chart. Learn when to use it and how to ignore it when required. Always pay close attention to the evolution of crowd participation, as well as the peaks and valleys. This often provides the clearest signals for major reversals and impending breakouts. Opportunity arises from recognition of key volume events and correct interpretation of the odd crowd tension that builds around breakout and breakdown levels. Invoke both left and right brain functions to measure this complex struggle. Human nature channels greed and fear between stable boundaries most of the time, but the speculator's pocketbook depends upon those rare moments when crowd forces get thrown out of balance. Many elements of the charting landscape read the emotional crowd and try to predict its next move. Volume addresses this difficult task better than any other tool. But keep in mind that profits depend on price change alone. Realize that price itself offers the best leading indicator for price change throughout the pattern cycle. As it rises, it predicts that further gains will follow. As it falls, odds increase that it will fall even further. Chapter 4. Building a Swing Trading Strategy Systems and Methods Swing traders must make the right choices to build an effective strategy. Seek original techniques that work in diverse market conditions and stand apart from the crowd's madness. Adopt a customized holding period that fits the personal lifestyle and permits careful position management. Spend more time controlling losses than seeking gains, and prepare to adjust everything as profits grow. Opportunity depends on inefficiency. Price patterns expose inefficient markets that discharge their instability through rapid price change. Swing traders evolve fresh strategies to capture these events and build quick profits. But as high odds tactics gain recognition, the crowd seizes them, and inefficiency starts to close. Professionals then fade the setup and generate whipsaws that shake out many speculators. This intense competition for profit forces many swing traders to cut and run. They jump quickly to the next method that works, with the crowd always one step behind. An effective market edge generates consistent trading profits, but most modern strategies must adapt continuously to the curse of common knowledge. Specialize on a single pattern for as long as it produces good results, but notice when unexpected outcomes start to undermine profitability. Stay focused and recognize immediately when the crowd discovers that pattern's virtues. Then have the confidence to move on quickly to the next original idea. Emotional Instability ensures that stock positions turn into surrogate spouses, bosses, and wayward offspring. Control your personal life first before taking a trade, or the market will do it for you. Keep in mind one disturbing fact. More swing traders will fail due to lack of discipline than lack of knowledge. Successful execution depends much more on the executioner than the strategy. Profits require both effective risk management and emotional self-discipline. The greed-fear axis clouds the mind and opens the trading game to great danger. Use cold, objective rules to manage emotions 
and avoid the fatal traps that quickly end a career. Engage frequently in tactical role-playing and visualize appropriate responses to different market conditions. Hope for the best, but always prepare for the worst with each new position. Both extremes will happen regularly over time. Momentum Trading Pattern cycles generate powerful strategies to capitalize on changing conditions and major turning points. But most participants fall into the momentum game and never learn other tactics. While the greedy eye sees many rising trends with few pullbacks, most still lose money chasing a hot market. They realize too late that momentum demands precise timing and strict emotional control. Greed-fear exerts tremendous force during dynamic price movement and clouds careful preparation. Ironically, initial gains can be dramatic for new momentum traders. Beginner's luck and fearlessness combine to make those first weeks or months very rewarding. But results often change quickly. Momentum traders at all levels lack sound risk management. Focus on the big gain dulls awareness of the big loss. Market insiders adjust quickly to the momentum crowd and generate sharp whipsaws to shake out the weak hands. Confused participants start buying tops and selling bottoms with regularity, or they abandon their rules and try to survive by holding old winners through violent sell-offs and waiting for a decent bounce. Sharp trends print wide range bars and many gapping moves. This volatility increases risk and inhibits safe entry-exit planning. Swing traders rely on SR to define execution and reward targeting. Most momentum markets display few common landscape features. This requires entry without a clear violation level that proves the setup was wrong. Only 3D charting or arbitrary stop loss keeps the speculator out of intense danger in this blind environment. Momentum trading can be mastered. Three disciplines will break destructive habits and reprogram trading for success. Abandon the adrenaline rush. Forget the excitement. Profit depends upon detached and disciplined execution. Learn the numbers. The nature of price movement must be ingrained deeply enough to allow spontaneous decision-making during the trading day. Cross-verify. Objective measurements must filter unconscious bias. Reduce momentum risk through 3D charting. Identify reward for the time frame of interest. Confirm that the stock shows no important divergences that may signal the end of the move or an impending reversal. Then, guide execution and position management through the chart in the next lower dimension. When a strong trend explodes on the daily chart, use the 60-minute bar to pick out lower risk entry and define natural exit points. For intraday positions, control the 5-minute bar breakout by using a 1-minute chart to locate swing levels. Successful momentum strategy requires solid tape reading skills. Demand on the time and sales ticker reveals the inner workings of rapid price movement. Both retail, small lot, and professional, large lot, traders need to participate in a sharp trend or it will fail. Watch the crowd's response to support numbers very closely. If the swing trader can't feel their urgency to get on board, perhaps it isn't there. Use round numbers to gauge demand when the action pushes into uncharted territory. Multiples of 10 often present strong resistance in place of classic SR levels. Understand the motives of the big players that drive fast markets and ride their coattails to gain a needed edge. And if big lots start to move against a rally, be prepared to join them. Time of day tendencies cultivate profit and danger zones. As the market opens, overnight imbalance and fresh retail cash trigger volatility that resolves through price change. Insiders guide stop-gunning exercises and fade trends through the lunch hour's negative feedback. The final hour arrives, 
just in time to resolve many complex themes, with sharp breakouts or breakdowns. And, through it all, intraday buying and selling oscillates in an orderly 90-minute cycle. Technical analysis uncovers momentum secrets as it exposes insider deception and herd behavior. Verify all fast markets through both patterns and indicators. Proper application will reduce failed entries because it invokes natural risk management. Always trade by the numbers and not the news. Use cold logic to painlessly exit marginal positions and move on quickly to the next opportunity. Physics teaches that an object in motion tends to remain in motion. Momentum profits depend on this well-understood mechanism. Moving averages set to multiple time frames reveal trend velocity through their relationships with each other. Measure this acceleration-deceleration with a classic moving average convergence-divergence, or MACD, indicator, or apply moving average, or MA ribbon, and watch them spread or contract over different time periods. For obvious reasons, always seek acceleration cross-verification before momentum trade execution. Swing traders apply original tactics to each phase of the pattern cycle. At new highs, they execute momentum setups that rely on sound risk management. When market conditions change, they move swiftly on to fresh ideas that reflect the new inefficiencies. Always opportunistic, they seek the next profit as a predator looks for a vulnerable meal. Momentum strategies fail through most market conditions. Stocks trend only 15 to 20 percent of the time. Constricted ranges bind price during the rest of its existence. Trading longevity requires diverse skills through both trending and congested markets. Be flexible enough to shift from one strategy to the other as feedback loops alternate between positive and negative. In other words, adapt tactics quickly to changing market conditions rather than wait for those limited times when the environment favors the hot stock. Trader versus the crowd. Profits come from the other traders' pockets. While most participants realize that a winner stands next to every loser, few comprehend the true mechanics of this statement. The markets will never be a team sport. Swing traders must be predators, ready to pounce on ill-advised decisions, poor judgment, and bad timing. Success depends on the misfortune of others. Who exactly is the crowd? Swing trading tends to focus on short-term positions and the other market players who execute trades in this time frame. This total congregation exhibits predictable herd behavior in response to news events and SR violations. The crowd reacts rather than acts when given the opportunity. It feeds on itself as members notice bursts of activity and fall into line one after the other until supply dissipates. Just as a stampeding herd suddenly reverses course upon reaching a barrier, the crowd may show little loyalty to a single price direction. The trading core that acts on emotion rather than reason changes through every circumstance and defies accurate measurement. For obvious reasons, highly charged markets induce more herd instincts than quiet ones. Seek active conditions when looking for profit opportunities. Read the crowd's excitement through total volume and the time and sales ticker. Watch the trade rhythm as price strikes key SR violation levels. Are the players tripping over themselves to get in or out of a position? How willing are they to execute well above or below the inside market? Their intensity tells the swing trader how long price breaks may last, and the best strategy for that particular setup. Trade ahead of, behind, or contrary to the crowd. Choose the strategy that aligns best with the current pattern cycles phase. Pick the execution targets, or ETs, in advance, based upon detached observation of the technical picture. Narrow-range executions work best to step in front of the crowd before a breakout. 
Stand behind the action on popular patterns, such as the head and shoulders or symmetrical triangle, and watch as insiders fade the masses that react to these well-known setups. Then look closely for the market's true intentions, and execute after the crowd shakeout, when the underlying direction finally emerges. Never hesitate to go against crowd sentiment when the market telegraphs a reversal, but use careful timing and analysis before position entry. Crowds carry momentum that rarely allows instant directional change. Move down to the price chart below the time frame of interest and watch for small reversal patterns to print first. Then choose an ET that responds to that smaller pattern. Contrary tactics are not difficult to learn. Realize that greed fear often motivates the crowd to act against its own best interests. Learn to recognize those profitable times and have a strategy ready to catch other traders' money as they let it go. Just mimic the insiders' actions. Market makers take the other side of trades to ensure a liquid market. The swing trader should apply similar tactics when the crowd lines up on the wrong side at key reversal zones. Use the crowd's excitement to exit trades on wide price bars before deep counter trends reduce profits. Reversals occur at peaks of crowd agitation. Sharp pullbacks trap players when they get greedy or wait too long for confirmation of a rollover. Safe exit requires that swing traders step in front of the crowd and close a position into its waiting hands. Get out quickly on bar expansion into major barriers. Such as prior highs or lows, and Bollinger Band extremes. Monitor personal stock board behavior closely. Don't identify with individual stocks or their related discussion groups. Board participants always have hidden agendas and will add a dangerous bias to detached execution. However, these virtual boiler rooms do fill an important data function. They assist in measurement of the crowd's emotional intensity for that stock. They also represent the pocket that the swing trader wants to pick. Don't be an investor and swing trader on the same position. Investment represents a belief in a stock's underlying value or technical state. This bias will inhibit the ability to apply contrary strategies when the circumstances demand them. Investment relies upon wealth creation, while supply and demand drives trading. Don't confuse the two. Short sales. Price momentum builds strongly in both directions, but different crowd mechanics drive the underlying trends. Greed fuels stock rallies, while fear and pain guide sell-offs. Each trend direction displays special chart characteristics that elicit different formation types. In other words. Don't try to just flip a chart upside down to predict price movement in very active markets, but smaller thrusts through range constriction show less variation from uptrend to downtrend. Here, the crowd behaves in a more rational manner as it moves in and out of positions. The smaller doses of greed and fear look alike through these zones. Consider the difference between uptrends and downtrends in the development of trading tactics. Stocks tend to fall farther and faster than they rise. Volume builds rallies, but markets will fall from their own weight. Greed burns out faster than fear, which must be healed over time. Fear induces panic selling more reliably than greed induces panic buying. Momentum traders duck for cover quickly at new highs. But value investors routinely exercise great patience at new lows. Many active traders never sell short. The upward price bias of the secular bull market teaches painful lessons to short sellers who don't apply defensive strategies, and the esoteric concept of selling stock before ownership confuses narrow logic. Although it follows common tactics that buy low and sell high. Many neophytes attempt a few short sales, get burned, and never look back. They fall into popular upside momentum strategies, and never play any other setup. Long-term market success depends on the ability to adapt to diverse trading conditions. Many pattern cycle phases signal profitable short sales opportunities, 
As with long positions, these setups align according to the trend range axis. Classic strategies sell tests of old highs within ranges and use bear rallies to execute lower risk entries in downside momentum markets. Smart short sellers also focus the ET through several time frames and build profits through 3D charting techniques. Direct access execution revolutionizes short sale swing trading. For years, brokers relied on inefficient inventory handling that forced delays while excellent opportunities were lost. Short sellers had to overcome slow service and long phone calls to get permission to borrow shares. New interfaces now display available shares in real time, and modern electronic communication networks, or ECNs, trigger fast executions when placing orders above the current inside bid. Once these are filled, swing traders can manage short positions as easily as long ones. Swing traders must sell short within the context of the larger bull market. While the normal holding period will be short term, never underestimate the public buying power that drives modern markets. Always use 3D charting to examine major indices in the view above the intended execution. Avoid selling short near major market support levels. Also remember that indices tend to shift direction frequently as corrections build. An expanding sell-off on a five-minute NASDAQ chart rarely offers a safe environment for short sellers unless they operate through a very small execution window. Trends depend on their time frame. Swing traders can safely sell short into corrections that last only a few bars or days. But these brief entries require very careful planning. Review other time frames to avoid trend relativity errors and examine the pattern closely to pick the optimum entry points. Once a sell-off is set into motion, buyers pull away and make execution more difficult. Wait for a pullback entry or get more consistent results by taking a position in narrow range bars just prior to the break. Classic contraction against an SR barrier offers a great tool to locate short sales as well as long positions. Counter-trend short sales require advanced trading skills. First, build a profitable history of selling into downtrends and range-bound markets. Intermediate declines within uptrends can produce outstanding results. But the underlying buying power restricts safe execution to a few well-marked setups. Newer traders consistently sell short too early into these patterns and get ripped apart. Experience builds the required patience to wait for the perfect counter-trend opportunity. Sell breakdowns from one SR level to the next. This requires defensive execution, precise measurement, and immediate profit-taking. Time frame. Pick a holding period early in the game and stick with it until a better one comes along. Align all trades to this single time frame until self-discipline allows strict management of multiple strategies. Simultaneous positions that rely on different time frames raise the odds of trend relativity errors and allow weak-minded participants to turn trades into investments. Successful swing trading requires time specialization. Each pattern cycle subset marks unique trends and conditions. Learn the important characteristics for a chosen holding period and use them to improve performance. Choose time frame wisely and for the right reasons. Swing trading must align with personal lifestyle or it can trigger very bad losses. Avoid intraday trading completely until advanced skills produce consistent profits through longer holding periods. Day trading hypnotizes many novices with sexy software, pretty colors, and subliminal advertising. But most market participants lack the time and resources to manage profitable intraday positions. Neophytes dream about the freedoms associated with day trading, but forget to accept the risks. Ninety percent or more fail and lose large amounts of capital that could have attracted substantial profits in longer time frames. Part-time intraday traders catch a few quick gains on their lunch hours and proclaim mastery of the art. 
or they tap relatively brief momentum markets and believe their good times will last forever. If this sounds familiar, stop immediately and find an appropriate strategy that fits well with current responsibilities. Only time and commitment will lead to consistent performance. Very short-term positions require great effort to trade well, and successful players may spend 30 or more non-market hours per week examining new setups and tactics. There are no profit shortcuts in the modern markets. Intraday pattern cycles produce more opportunities than daily ones. Swing traders can access setups in many small time frames throughout each session, but quick positions produce smaller average gains with higher transaction costs. Two strategies respond to this unpleasant characteristic. Shorten the time frame further and try to overcome very small reward through high-volume scalping techniques, or lengthen the holding period to tap swing trade tactics that capture larger movement within this volatile environment. Both methods work well in the right hands and fail miserably in the wrong ones. Intraday trading requires constant examination of range and range breakout. Success demands accurate prediction and precise timing. Learn to read the cycles and memorize the numbers in longer time frames before applying these skills to very short-term markets. Always enter trades in the direction of the highest odds at the time, and exit immediately when proven wrong. Understand the narrow time window in which intraday traders must execute. Tiny whipsaws that few investors notice on daily charts incur sharp losses on 5-minute and 60-minute bars. Two classic time frames attract most swing traders. The one to three day hold aligns positions to an underlying S&P futures buy sell cycle. The one to three week hold parallels natural trend development on the daily chart. Both styles demand less time than intraday trading, but offer dramatic profit opportunities with controlled risk. They also closely match common pattern cycle phases. The one to three day swing measures an ideal holding period for many participants. The American markets tend to print three day mini trends. Three strong bars often follow three weak ones. Three trending days precede three days of congestion. Find a recent reversal and count through swings to see how this natural pivot works under current conditions. This cycle expands and contracts as markets evolve. Instead of direct application, develop a sharp sense for natural market swing reversals and tune individual entries to these high profit points. Align positions correctly to this one to three day phase and catch large pieces of each move. This active style requires aggressive management and careful observation of open positions. Apply the same strategies as the intraday trader but use longer chart views to locate execution targets, or ETs, and exit points. 60-minute and daily charts work well for these overnight positions. Trade frequently, but control risk with tight stop losses that focus on primary chart landscape features. The 1-3 to three week position aligns to a monthly buy-sell cycle that grabs a large price swing without aggressive position management. It fits well into a lifestyle not obsessed with the financial markets. Use the daily and weekly charts to organize profit opportunities and focus on closing prices. Ignore intraday volatility to avoid trend relativity errors. Manage profit and loss through physical stops. Protect gains with trailing stops that give positions adequate wriggle room. Then set stop losses based on natural breakdown zones and walk away. Position traders have more time to consider promising setups and ideal strategies. They also seek higher individual profits, execute less frequently, and incur lower transaction costs. While intraday traders profit from single direct price thrusts, longer positions allow a greater variety of countertrend pullback strategies. Lock in a profit with a trailing stop and allow the stock to retrace when the charting landscape shows a strong trend. Then sit back and enjoy another sharp primary wave. 
Consider time frame before every trade execution. Careful analysis must conclude that the setup works within the chosen holding period. This frustrating process will filter out many promising opportunities, but avoid chasing them. Successful tactics apply only to the swing trader's natural time tendency and can fail miserably if they miss their target. Market cycles exhibit polarity between adjacent trends. When holding periods compress or expand, they shift out of phase and can trigger opposite outcomes. Test new time frames slowly to ensure that proven tactics still function within the chosen cycle. Look for setups that also work well in the time frame above the targeted holding period. These will exhibit few reward barriers, good support, and timing that converges with the smaller view. Follow larger scale charts closely after execution and exit quickly if conditions change. For example, one minute scalpers follow important SR features of the five minute chart, while one to three day swing traders examine reward on the daily chart, but execute patterns on the 60 minute bars. Learn to decipher many subtle relationships between trends. Price movement occurs within short-term, intermediate, and long-term time frames, but these trends rarely synchronize with each other and often generate considerable friction. This flips price action through wave-like motion and may eventually force a reversal to relieve the stress. These volatile mechanics also create opportunity. Examine two adjacent trends and locate a good setup within the shorter one. Then add a lower dimension and time actual execution to price movement below the one that shows the trade. Trading tools work through all time frames. Apply Bollinger Bands, Fibonacci retracements, and trend line channels to all chart views. Use this versatility to unleash tremendous predictive information. Toggle time frames to uncover tool convergence that cross verifies promising setups. This confluence often locates major multi-point profit events. For example, when both daily and weekly Bollinger Bands converge at a single breakout number, odds increase that price will reverse right at that level. Trend relativity errors steal more profits than any other trading mistake. An excellent position for one holding period often fails in the next larger or smaller time frame. Natural price waves that generate through multiple trends must align with reward targets and the chosen time frame. Make sure that strategies always focus on the right elements for that setup. Investors make frequent relativity errors, but their broad position timing often forgives mistakes. Swing traders that miss their time frame will wash out of the markets quickly. Shorter holding periods spawn more critical time errors than longer ones. Short-term trends generate very noisy signals that trigger early positions. High transaction costs and lost opportunity also take their toll on these misinformed entries. Control this tendency through longer-term charts that capture broader price movement and filter errors. Loading the Gun Plan the trade. Trade the plan. Swing traders must define a personal style, write it down, and update it frequently. Without one, they don't know what it is and will fail the next time their wallet really depends on it. The personal style defines trading rules, holding periods, stock vehicles, execution criteria, and a series of filters that describe specific conditions under which to stand aside. Others may have good ideas on what belongs in each column, but only the swing trader's money is at risk, and no one else can make those important decisions. Create a personal identity before the trade. Choose an appropriate holding period, since it defines so many other strategic considerations. This decision must look at both experience and available capital. Match positions to other lifestyle considerations and free time. New swing traders should also manage risk by applying longer time frames and smaller share commitments. Review your major goals for participation in the financial markets. Is excitement or financial return more important? 
Must the profits pay household expenses or just the next family vacation? If no obvious goals appear, trade small until they do. The markets direct talented participants toward the trading styles that offer the greatest profits. Where they begin on that path may not be where they end up. Trade small accounts wisely, or they will disappear quickly. Avoid the tendency to overtrade a small amount of capital in the hopes of building it up quickly. Concentrate on applying the limited cash into promising opportunities, rather than flipping it repeatedly and incurring heavy transaction costs. Decide whether or not to use the account's margin. Realize that margin increases both reward and risk. Trade with your head, not over it. Define entry and exit rules. Start with reward risk parameters and list conditions that must be met before taking a position. Many swing traders will not consider entry unless it shows a minimum three to one reward risk. Short-term opportunities also depend upon the execution zone, EZ. This focal band surrounds the execution target and requires undivided attention as price bars move into it. Intermarket analysis and ticker interpretation then decide whether the ET warrants entry. Use rules to define exactly what must occur in the EZ before execution. Examine time of day, technical convergence, and underlying market sentiment to decide the minimum external support required for a position entry. Focus on a specific price range for the current strategy. Then trade the right number of shares for each setup, regardless of account size. Opportunities that repeatedly cross-verify at a single point. Demand more shares than positions with lower odds for success. Limit total shares to manage risk, and always reduce share size when trying out new tactics or time frames. Decide whether or not to scale in and out of positions. Consider doing it for one side of the trade, but not the other. Will executions use limit or market orders? Will physical or mental stops decide trade exits? These important decisions may depend on the choice between a discount and a direct access broker. Many direct systems don't allow placement of market orders or physical stops. They assume that participants will sit in front of their terminals at all times and guard positions. If lifestyle conflicts with this workflow, consider a less demanding system interface that allows automatic position management. Modify personal style frequently as skills grow. Experience awakens fresh tactics that require new risk considerations. Since trading rules only represent guidelines to focus strategies, they should not strangle fresh ideas. Update them to incorporate your trading evolution and mark progress on the road to experience. One note of caution: review and adjust all prior tactics as necessary, but don't trade new styles first and document them later. Decide where to place focus at the beginning of each market day. Time restraints force the elimination of many excellent opportunities in favor of those that appear more imminent through analysis. Choose wisely, and setups will explode as predicted. Use personal trading style to define what will survive and capture the attention. Intuition plays a great part in this process. New setups that invoke excitement are more likely to ignite than those that draw fatigue. Choose information sources wisely. How much chart analysis will be done each night? Will news as well as numbers trigger trade execution? Will positions remain active through major economic releases, or will they close out in anticipation of shock events? Decide if a real-time news ticker will improve results, and whether the TV set will stay on or off during market hours. Define clear relationships to stock boards and chat rooms. When will external opinions be shut out completely to prepare for the next entry? Trading journals work well in conjunction with written rules. Compare the two frequently to determine how well decisions follow personal style, and whether trading plans remain on target. Identify poor results and adjust tactics immediately. 
The game's complexity requires constant attention to stay focused on the goal. But avoid using a written journal to excuse failure. Confession only goes so far in healing emotions. Prophets do a much better job. Risk Management Market participants have an amazing capacity to ignore risk management. Caught in the excitement of the game, no one wants to miss the next big thing. Each day we discover that everyone else makes money in the markets. Stock boards crow about huge gains, but rarely admit big losses. Newsletters advise how to make a fortune, but never how to avoid losing one. And our neighbors all bought hot stocks at the right time, and are well on their way to retirement. Swing traders fail when they don't manage positions. Long-term market survivors learn to control losses effectively before attempting to increase gains. Unfortunately, most neophytes don't have the required discipline to exercise this sound risk management. They chase positions with no safe exit as the lure of the big gain disables unbiased evaluation. Greed attracts players to the strategies that have the highest failure rates. Danger increases significantly when trading in these high-volatility environments. Wide swings ensure that price moves a great distance in a very short time frame. These hot stocks offer few safe entry levels and many insider shakeouts. Borderline participants always see the upside but ignore the downside when they enter positions into crowd excitement. Whatever happens next is out of their control because they exercise no planning, reward targeting, or risk management. Hot stocks build a sense of invulnerability as they move in the crowd's direction. Profit feeds the ego and strokes it as markets race higher. Large gains build and silence rational thought. Traders caught in this mindset quickly become investors and lose that predatory edge that finds consistent winners. If the stock turns, the ego says it will always come back. Entire gains vanish as these new investors insist on value instead of technical patterns. Or it can even ride higher and reinforce bad habits for the new conquering king. Positions can move quickly against careless participants and generate strong fear. The charting landscape may offer few escape routes, and the trader freezes like a deer in the headlights as price takes off in the wrong direction. Survival instincts often kick in at this point, and flawed logic decides not to take the loss, but ride it back to the entry level or a fresh profit. Anything can happen after that decision, because all control has been abdicated to fate and ego. A trading account empties, or a miracle saves the day. In either case, the speculator takes the next step toward washout and a safer hobby. Neophytes should choose less volatile markets for their strategies. Look for stocks that move in slower motion and offer more opportunity to take appropriate safety measures. But even this calmer path will set participants on the road to failure if they build inadequate responses to dangerous conditions. Smaller gains in this environment also encourage more frequent trading. Transaction costs build quickly and bleed gains, while non-performing positions waste capital and restrict other opportunities. The most important rule of risk management requires little interpretation. Never enter a trade without knowing the exit. Each execution target, or ET, choice generates a risk profile based on the distance between the entry and major support resistance, or SR, violation level. This level, failure target, determines the point where price action proves that the trade was wrong and should be abandoned. This distance must be acceptable before each trade entry. This exit must not produce a loss in excess of the swing trader's predetermined risk tolerance. Target a permissible average loss as part of trading style and rule preparation. 
Smaller accounts must manage smaller losses than large accounts. Risk tolerance also aligns closely with reward measurement. The distance from the entry to the nearest SR barrier in the direction of the trade, profit target, measures reward potential. Seek positions with reward targets that measure at least three times the calculated risk. Then estimate the actual dollar loss should the position fail and violate the risk level with the expected number of shares. Many good positions should be avoided or exited quickly. Markets work well when setups yield profits, but trouble starts when they don't. Each promising trade has high odds for failure that must be considered before entry. Many participants fall into a gambling mentality when things go wrong. They rely on luck to get them past the risk and into a profit. Never follow this dangerous path. Do not execute a position unless the effect of being wrong matches the individual risk tolerance. Winning and losing. Swing trading success depends on the chosen path to profit. Some push hard for the big gain, but risk big losses when the action suddenly turns against them. Others slowly build each profit and watch defensively for a quick exit when wrong. Choose the focus that matches your trading personality, but prepare to deal with the consequences of the decision. You have to be very, very good before you allow yourself to be bad. Intraday traders can control losses more efficiently than position traders. Price time tendency now works to their advantage. In other words, incurred losses will be smaller on average because positions are held for a shorter time period. This allows loss distribution closer to zero than position trading. But frequent intraday executions often wash out this advantage through higher transaction costs. Loss side management increases profits more quickly than chasing gains. Take what the market gives and move on to the next trade. Successful participants know when they're wrong and execute a well-rehearsed exit plan. Learn this skill quickly because most traders lose more often than they win during a typical career. Enter every position with an exit door close to the entry to cut losses when wrong. Keep another just behind advancing price to protect gains when right. Expect some frustration along the way. Many stocks will whipsaw through SR and shake out good positions just before taking off sharply in the right direction. Experience will reduce these unpleasant events, but will never eliminate them completely. Seek liquidity at all times. Swing traders need fast execution with low slippage, and that won't happen unless there's an active crowd flipping the stock. Less liquid issues also carry higher transaction costs and erratic movement that will undermine sound risk management. Avoid stocks with volume less than 500,000 to 1 million shares per day for 1 to 3 day positions. Intraday traders should focus on issues that trade 2 million shares or more each session. Special conditions will change these guidelines. High-level shock events turn thin stocks into excellent swing trading vehicles for short periods of time. Shocked stocks that trade 3 to 5 million shares or more produce excellent profits with low transaction costs. Stop Losses Avoid physical stops as long as positions can be managed in real time. This reduces stop gunning exposure and allows a progression of natural exit points. As price evolves, so does exit planning. Swing tactics implement discretionary, voluntary, rather than system, automatic, trade execution. This flexibility extends through the exit from each active position. Terminate the trade when movement in the intended direction reaches a natural barrier that may impede further price change. Also, get out when movement against the intended direction violates a natural barrier that may accelerate price change. Swing traders consistently recognize impending failures as pattern cycles knowledge grows. Don't wait for the crowd to depart a failing position. Lead them out the exit door and move on to the next opportunity. 
A pullback will often follow the first violation of well-marked SR in strong markets. One advanced strategy holds the position through the swing break and bids into the bouncing market to exit. While good discipline always grabs the first exit door, use this second chance when caught off guard. Place an arbitrary stop to keep the trade within risk tolerance if momentum offers no obvious exit. Enter with the market in motion and place the exit order at any price that yields an acceptable loss. Better yet, bid into the market several times and place stops very close to the purchase prices. Then take a series of small losses in the effort to catch a major price thrust. Keep in mind that if a momentum market turns sharply, no stop loss will offer real protection. Physical stops provide a convenient tool for part-timers that can't actively manage their own positions. Enter the sell stop as soon as the trade produces a new fill report. Place the limit order on the other side of known SR within the risk parameters for the position. Add reasonable wriggle room to avoid whipsaw exits. If the position survives the session, re-examine the stop that night and adjust as necessary. Continue to review nightly and push the exit door closer to current price as soon as it moves into a profit. Adjust it even closer as the price target approaches or time reaches the intended holding period. And consider a quick windfall exit after any sharp bar expansion in the right direction. Capitalization Small accounts must maintain strict risk parameters to swing trade. The lower transaction costs and tight spreads of modern markets allow $2,000 to $5,000 of capital to earn a profit. But any impatience will lead to a quick account decline. Keep position size and trade frequency to a minimum. Execute longer-term strategies and allow gains to build over time. Choose lower beta issues that exhibit all of the pattern cycle phases, but move in slow motion. The markets will still be around next week and next year. Active swing traders should start with minimum capital of $10,000 to $25,000. This size permits good position management without the use of margin. Trade the highest-priced stocks that fit comfortably into the account, and avoid buying low-priced issues. Buy or sell the right number of shares for each setup, and keep free money aside for unexpected opportunities. Transaction costs still take a bite out of profits at this level. Increase risk through more volatile issues and position size, rather than trade frequency. Trading for a living requires at least $50,000 to $100,000, and a pool of savings that ensures the account will not be tapped for daily expenses. This size allows multiple positions in volatile stocks at all price levels and manages results through real-time systems that respond immediately to changing conditions. The professional treats swing trading as a business and commits sufficient time to match the high financial stakes. This commitment level should not be attempted until a consistent track record demonstrates significant talent and a stable personality for the occupation. Professional day traders need larger accounts than swing traders as higher transaction costs and lower average win impact profitability. Smaller intraday movement requires larger position size to tap profits, and losing trades must be exited quickly when they jump the wrong way. Account drawdowns will tend to be higher than swing trading, but shock events will do less damage. Consider the good reasons to reduce trade frequency and apply swing tactics instead of scalping or very short-term day trading. Many players find it difficult to manage several open positions at one time, regardless of account size. Avoid the urge to increase position size to compensate for a thin portfolio. Each trade has a risk level that matches the number of shares put to work. As experience grows, consider the addition of multiple time frames into a single account, Longer-term positions tap available cash, but require less active babysitting. This strategy works well after the swing trader learns the risks of trend relativity errors and manages them efficiently. Establish a solid performance record before incorporating margin into a personal trading plan. 
increased buying power exaggerates both gain and loss. Margin can generate an unhealthy sense of power that introduces a gambling mentality into trade tactics. It can wipe out a promising career through over-trading or excessive position size. Consider margin a powerful tool in the right hands and a dangerous weapon in the wrong hands. Inner Trader Are you ready for the truth about your current obsession with the markets? While exact figures remain closely guarded by the industry, the swing trading failure rate likely stands well over 70%. So chances are good that new participants will eventually lose all or part of their equity accounts and be forced to move on to less stressful hobbies. To avoid this fate, take the pursuit very seriously and find an original trading strategy that takes full advantage of the unique characteristics of the short-term markets. The trading fascination lies in the favorable time-profit curve. Short-term markets generate sharp price swings that capture the public's attention. This encourages experienced investors to abandon buy-and-hold strategies and concentrate on these quick turns. But they soon realize that short-term profits depend on highly effective time management. This critical demand requires far more skill than most new traders anticipate, and they wash out quickly. Neophytes see market speculation as an exciting way to make money and break out of the business world. The discipline routinely attracts over 40 white males with professional backgrounds in other occupations. They believe that their financial success in one career will quickly translate into trading profits. These well-capitalized participants apply the same ambition that worked so well in the business world's pecking order. But testosterone can't force money from the markets, and quiet introspection builds better strategies than bravado. Those who finally survive the game all tell a common tale. This fascinating pursuit was the hardest challenge they ever faced. Aspirants must commit many hours to market study or avoid trading entirely. Develop a predatory instinct, avoid greed, and view this occupation as a lifelong quest. Work hard to complete every analysis in detail and don't cut corners. Part-timers can succeed but must specialize on a few strategies and skip broader study. Match execution with effort or pay the price. Highly trained market professionals stand ready to empty careless wallets, and only adequate preparation will uncover the secrets that produce consistent profits. Watch the clock and become a market survivor. Develop an intuitive sense of how positions will react to intraday cycles. Learn to coordinate trades so they align with the underlying tendencies. For example, don't buy weakness in the last hour if price is below support. Time of day favors further declines for these issues near market close. The first and last hours attract most participants, but they carry higher risk than any other time period. Avoid this excitement until specific strategies can address the increased risk. Early opportunities disappear quickly and trap unskilled players. Highly profitable setups appear throughout the middle hours. Use this quieter time to build up trading skills and avoid the crowd. Develop an original style that avoids the most volatile stocks. Markets generate small-scale inefficiencies all the time. Learn to recognize the odd daily quirks that produce high-probability setups. Notice strange behavior and apply simple techniques to capitalize on it. Give up the excitement of chasing parabolic stocks and find quiet opportunity that books higher profits with less stress. In any case, always travel a different path than the restless crowd. Focus on optimizing entry and exit. Work out a detailed strategy before each trade that accurately measures reward and risk. Write it down, if possible, and don't stop until consistent performance proves mastery of the game. Play single, direct price thrusts, stay defensive, and manage size to control risk. When buy signals don't line up perfectly, 
skip the trade, or enter a smaller position. Profit depends on discretion and wise execution. When one opportunity passes, another will appear like magic. And remember that precise entries on mediocre positions make more money over time than bad executions on good ones. Apply cross-verification to all trading decisions. Technical convergence through identical levels greatly enhances the odds for success. Use it for both analysis and position management. Enter setups when support resistance, or SR, points repeatedly to an obvious execution target, or ET, level. Compare upper and lower pane indicators to measure the trend range axis. When Fibonacci retracements, moving average, or MA, ribbons, and trend lines all work together, load the trading gun and take profits with confidence and ease. Avoiding Self-Destruction The markets provide the perfect mechanism to confirm just how screwed up someone's life really is. Money represents power in modern culture. Swing traders seek to master this force and become true wizards of the game. But the subconscious mind often has its own agenda. Many participants don't really want to succeed in market speculation, so they project hidden inadequacies into their trading performance, all the while thinking, yes, I'm bad and don't deserve the good things that trading will bring me. The business world forces employees to perform a laundry list of duties for an extended period of time before rewarding them with a paycheck. This rat-in-the-maze mentality deeply affects our view of money. It trains us to believe that our financial fates are in the hands of a powerful third party who controls wealth. But successful swing traders must recognize their own power in the creation of capital. Learning this simple skill may take a lifetime of effort to undo years of bad programming. The markets require a level of discipline that most fail to achieve in the rest of their lives, so why should it be any different with trading? Stock positions offer endless opportunities to break rules and ignore danger. Wise participants recognize non-market limitations and deal with those before proceeding on the path to profit. Losing weight, quitting smoking, and exercising regularly all improve the odds for trading longevity. Add stress reduction and watch performance improve faster than taking a weekend stock course. Swing trading frustrates those who find great achievement in other walks of life. Few other disciplines require constant loss to reach their goals. The pain of losing money stands beside profit throughout the road to success. Accept this unpleasant fact and prepare to deal with the emotional roller coaster. Both winning streaks and drawdowns test rational behavior and trading strategies. Stay focused and stick to the plan. Participants who lose concentration face a gambler's paradise. And, just like all games of chance, expect to leave the bright lights with very empty pockets. Greed and fear bring out the extremes in human behavior, but swing traders can control the impact of emotion with solid rules and strict self-discipline. Rules must apply to all circumstances, regardless of how it feels or the short-term financial impact. Few can maintain this discipline perfectly, and most find themselves in dangerous situations. At those critical times, decide quickly how to steer the boat back into the harbor before it gets sunk. See the setup with both sides of the brain. As skills evolve, an accurate inner voice adds a powerful new dimension to reasoned analysis of the price chart. Growing knowledge internalizes the market swing and tunes into natural opportunity. Go ahead and follow those trade instincts, unless solid reasons dictate another path. But don't confuse intuition with impulse. High levels of frustration and excitement can push bad trades without good reasons. Fall back on the numbers when in doubt. 
Promising stock opportunities turn into disasters. Time works against the swing trader when conditions turn dangerous, and waiting to be right is the best way to be wrong. Those who hesitate in the face of doom get taken out of the action for a very long time. Fortunately, most patterns warn of impending shocks. Sharp reversals rarely occur in a single bar, and well-marked signposts scream the need for a fast exit. Always protect the trading account and listen to the chart's message, regardless of what it says. Many participants seek excitement from the markets. They get a sharp adrenaline rush every time they execute a new position. Unfortunately, the same rush comes whether they win or lose. This builds operant conditioning that rewards loss as well as gain. Getting high on the markets draws a quick path to failure. Successful swing traders kill the thrill and practice inner detachment through each execution. They experience long periods of boredom, but don't use mediocre setups to escape the monotony. Never marry a stock position. Don't bother to find out too much about the trading vehicle beyond basic sector analysis. Swing traders understand that stocks represent numbers and nothing else. Remember that message board surfers don't seek the truth; they seek validation for their point of view. Participants find easy support for distorted beliefs that make it more difficult to exit a loser when it's time to get out. Get away from the boards for weeks or months at a time, and realize that only one point of view really counts when it comes to the markets. Chapter Five: Understanding Time. The time element. Price patterns reveal opportunity, but many participants fail to comprehend how poor time management weakens tactics and empties accounts. Each promising setup has a holding period that maximizes reward risk. This optimal phase may not match the time frame anticipated in the personal trading plan. Position and plan must synchronize time, or they will lead to poor results. Unfortunately, many ignore this important consideration and jump into the market anyway. Proper time management separates winners from losers. Lazy participants misinterpret signals and waste valuable resources when they ignore this essential strategic element. Time impacts two charting landscape features. First, it defines how execution aligns with the price swing. Second, it reveals internal market tendencies that impact trend on an intraday, daily, weekly, and monthly basis. Match holding period to time-sensitive setups, and aggressively manage the information interface. Real-time screens and databases must tune in to specific time frames. It makes perfect sense to filter databases through technical screens that favor important time characteristics, align charts, indicator settings, and focused attention to those same dimensions, and synchronize tactics to a single layer of market activity. Tune trade entry to the time frame below the setup whenever possible. This optimizes reward and visualizes short-term danger. Pay close attention to this view during active position management, but base exit decisions on the chart that produced the opportunity in the first place. Use mental time stops to manage holding period, even when price avoids major violation. Become a student of market time bias. The first and last hours. As well as a variety of intraday quirks, bend short-term price development. Broader time periods bring out odd phenomena such as Turnaround Tuesday, the three-day swing, and tax loss season. Scheduled fundamental events routinely impact price and distort index charts, and options expiration ensures that unwinding positions will impact certain days of each market month. Swing traders manipulate opportunity cost through their working capital. 
This important concept reveals why cutting losses efficiently is so important for long-term survival. Assumption of a stock position dictates that those funds will not be available for another trade. A critical issue then arises on account drawdowns when the wrong decision dictates failure or triggers a margin call. Mediocrity also impacts opportunity cost. Poor choices tie up capital when they lead to positions that neither benefit nor hurt the trading account. Time ignorance triggers expensive trend relativity errors. Great trade setups in one time frame lead to terrible positions in another. All directional movement is time frame specific. For example, a rally on a daily chart says nothing about price movement on the monthly or intraday charts. Effective planning reduces relativity errors. Calculate reward risk, visualize the holding period, and measure SR only for the expected duration of the trade. Technical indicators lose their effectiveness when improperly time-tuned. Alternatively, resonant time readings produce startling accuracy with ordinary data input. Realize that canned settings offer a general crowd snapshot, but rarely produce effective signals for custom time strategies. Also note that the length chosen for the chart view affects results just as much as the settings themselves. Indicator time summation falls into three general categories. Moving averages, such as price or volume, relationships between the open, close, and high and or low of individual bars, repeating cycles of price or volume behavior. Indicator time frame falls into three general categories, short-term, intermediate-term, long-term. Time frame denotes relative market periods rather than absolute length. Short-term to an intraday trader represents a different amount of time than the same segment for a mutual fund holder. In fact, each market strategy requires different short, intermediate, and long-term considerations. This goes back to the triple-screen logic. Effective preparation requires time frame study just above and below the chart on which the setup appears. For example, the intraday trader may watch a triangle on the five-minute chart, but examine double-top SR on the 60-minute chart and look for a low-risk pullback on the one-minute chart. Technical analysis studies a fractal market. View individual time units as periods instead of daily, weekly, or monthly lengths. Because no two participants trade exactly the same way, both patterns and indicators must serve a broad range of uses. Indicators make valid predictions whether they arise from five-minute bars or monthly ones. But exercise caution. Prediction applies only to the time frame for the tools being used to study that market. The Market Clock Very short-term cycles drive daily market momentum. Each of these small time segments contains predictable crowd, price, and volatility characteristics. The strength or absence of expected behaviors during these phases generates feedback loops that drive subsequent market activity. Inter-market relationships generate many primary cycles. The continuous battle of wills between Chicago futures and New York equities spins endless arbitrage events. The 10 a.m. release of government economic statistics generates volatility throughout the world markets. And 3 p.m. credit market settlement triggers active positioning for the last open hour of the American stock markets. Natural rhythms guide other cycles. The composition of the trading crowd changes dramatically as the day progresses. Mornings belong to smaller retail participants who exercise impatient strategies right near the market open. As their impact winds down, professionals move in to work the balance of the day. Their influence peaks in the last hour, and especially during the furious final minutes of the session. 
Extended trading hours bend the market clock, but rarely impact broad cycles. This may change in upcoming years as stocks move to a 24-hour worldwide exchange. Most participants now use these quieter times to complete strategies that began during the regular session. They may exit an overnight gap into an early morning crowd, or dump a loser that missed the regular close. After-hour shock events occur frequently, but remain the exception to the rule. Pre-open trading continues to expand, but larger forces still drive most overnight action. And insider manipulation guarantees that most swing traders will still wait for the opening bell. The little-known S&P alternation cycle drives intraday price swings. Ninety minutes of strength often follow an equal period of weakness. This cyclic tendency naturally generates five distinct phases during each trading day, three in the direction of the current trend, and two counter-trend reactions. While the stock market shifts time somewhat through arbitrage-driven tug-and-pull, dividing the day into five unique time zones presents an effective means to identify short-term market cycles. 9 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. The market opens with a first impulse that resolves and completes the last close phase. 10.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. Mid-morning reacts to the open phase, but does not resolve any price action. 12 p.m. to 1.30 p.m. Lunch triggers a second impulse that resolves and completes the open phase. 1.30 p.m. to 3 p.m. Mid-afternoon reacts to the lunch phase, but does not resolve any price action. 3 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. The market closes with a third impulse that resolves and completes both the open and lunch phases. Each 90-minute phase triggers a new action or a reaction to the last impulse. Each impulse digests the prior market action, but raises new conflict that affects price development. This triggers a reaction phase that tests the themes and boundaries of the prior impulse. Finally, this action-reaction axis ignites a subsequent impulse that resolves the conflict of the last one. Also note that the reaction phase for the close impulse occurs through the overnight markets, rather than equities themselves. Markets oscillate through intraday sessions within this complex structure. Swing traders try to uncover these sentiment shifts and align positions with them. Keep in mind that short-term cycles can generate considerable noise or not appear at all. Watch for these general time tendencies with the five-minute tick and intraday stochastics. Follow them when they generate strong signal and directional response, but avoid them when cross-currents build negative feedback. Cycle interfaces may not show up on schedule. Negative feedback periods tend to overshoot their time allotment, while sharp trends often complete more quickly than 90 minutes. Avoid narrow rules and try to recognize this important time swing wherever it occurs. The market clock prints three distinct thrust phases and two counter-reactions. Each thrust completes and resolves market activity initiated during the prior impulse. For example, the first 90 minutes align with pre-open positioning, the actual market open, and the first hour of trading. This important period resolves imbalances that originate during the closing hour of the prior market day, as well as the overnight session. A testing and reaction phase follows each impulse. This counterforce measures the thrust's strength and durability. Major reversals are less likely to occur during these reactions, but can show tremendous power when they appear. This phenomenon results from testing that dramatically fails and traps one side of the market that had been in control during the prior phase. The close impulse offers no simple reaction phase. The overnight and world markets handle this chore as they digest the U.S. exchange results as well as new impulses that their own participation creates. 
The Globex-based 24-hour S&P futures markets supply the primary outlet for this off-hour reaction. Post-close mechanics may change substantially in upcoming years as extended trading hours expand liquidity. Reaction phases, mid-morning and mid-afternoon, do not resolve prior market impulses. Price action must pass through a complete action-reaction cycle before it can successfully digest the new imbalance. The reaction phase often determines the strength or weakness of the underlying impulse and how price change can resolve it. The completion of this testing phase allows participants to initiate appropriate decisions and fuel the next impulse. Separate impulses generate positive feedback when well aligned and negative feedback when in conflict. For example, a strong open impulse followed by a supportive lunch impulse with weak countermovement through their reactions sets up a high probability for a strong close impulse. Alternatively, a weak second move that follows a strong opening tends to resolve itself into a directionless or reversal close. Position Timing Profitable intraday trading requires execution in harmony with daily time cycles. Momentum strategies generally correspond with impulse phases, while swing tactics characterize reaction periods. Time these positions to large-scale trend range conditions whenever possible. For example, enter momentum positions in active markets during the impulses rather than reactions, but trade pullbacks during reactions rather than impulses. Avoid execution during noisy cycle periods. Markets trend only 10 to 20 percent of the time, even at the intraday level, Impulse phases can display little directional movement or conviction by the crowd. Reaction zones may exhibit few themes or boundaries. This restless market action induces many discordant phases without clear signals or opportunity. Never force a position when the tick chart doesn't identify the current phase clearly. Specific tactics avoid entry during certain times of day. Many experienced participants stand aside during the open period. They use this phase to exit overnight positions and gather feedback to make informed decisions later in the day. Others aggressively trade the morning, but take off at lunch hour and never come back. Some prefer to scalp the quiet middle of the day, when lower volume equals less risk. And at the last hour, many morning players return to feed on late-day volatility. Intraday chart-based tactics favor certain execution times. Overnight gap strategies encourage positions during the opening minutes of the market session. A first-hour breakout system must wait 60 minutes or longer for the new range to develop. Simple charts that rely on five-minute bars may not print enough data to predict price change until the late morning or early afternoon. And many complex intraday patterns wait until the last hour to complete breakouts or breakdowns. Specific holding periods focus awareness on different aspects of this short-term tug and pull. Intraday traders seek profit through single momentum thrusts. Positions that align to cyclical interfaces enhance reward and minimize risk. Swing traders find particular value in the cycle's similarity to classic wave motion, that is, thrust reaction followed by thrust reaction. This promotes a natural rhythm that allows them to buy weakness and sell strength. Position traders watch these cycles to improve portfolio results as they avoid market at open orders with a few simple observations. First Hour the first and last market hours favor strong directional price movement. This positive feedback often dries up through the middle of the day as negative feedback takes over. These two pivotal hours capture the majority of significant price movement over many sessions. The shares traded during this time may exceed 60% of the total volume for the entire six-and-a-half-hour session. 
Price extremes that print during these hours may represent the high and or low bars for the entire day. The four and a half hours between 10.30 a.m. and 3 p.m. New York time frequently reflect narrow range movement bound by first hour price action. Spreads and volume contract through this middle phase as market movers position themselves into the expected closing impulse. Look backward to understand the first hour's message. Market players naturally study pre-open sentiment, spreads, and the latest news for clues to the new session's supply-demand. Important themes really begin during the prior session's final hour. The last impulse often triggers unexpected price development that builds instability into the close. This late action provides insight into the next day's first impulse. But remember that supply-demand must first pass through the filter of overnight world markets before reaching the new day. Opening Imbalance Participants watch the opening action to identify key short-term price levels for the new session. Early swings define the first-hour range, while gaps provide immediate signposts for reversals and breakouts. Penetration through either end of the first hour's range may signal sharp bar expansion. Gaps that hold through this testing period also favor expansion through their initial highs or lows. Alternatively, failure to exceed these levels invites fading strategies as orders build against the short-term extremes. Closing momentum influences the next morning's opening trades. Simple physics describes this common price mechanism an object in motion will tend to remain in motion unless met by an intervening force. While inertia slowly pulls market movement towards center, a major trend that persists into the close should try to reassert itself the following morning. Many forces can modify the close impulse before the next session. Late news and extended hours allow trading well into the evening. The Globex World Session takes over for index futures and smaller contracts. The Nikkei and Hang Seng respond to American market action and contribute their own issues. Europe awakens, and its bourses add new twists to the changing environment. Finally, Western markets reassume dominance as market makers post early spreads, and electronic communication networks, or ECNs, open for business. Overnight world market influence illustrates how sharply sentiment can swing between one session close and the beginning of the next one. But overnight shocks move markets less frequently than most swing traders realize. Because trends persist only 10 to 20 percent of the time, American exchanges often generate price action that doesn't impact world sentiment. Only new activity on those local exchanges can finally resolve their internal imbalance. Intraday traders avoid overnight risk by going flat into the close. Many use the open to determine which trend direction should prevail as they prepare strategies for the day. These short-term tactics force them to miss overnight price movement. Unfortunately, stocks can gap in the direction of a rally or sell-off for days in a row during strongly trending markets. This is no coincidence. Insiders use these price shocks to take short-term traders out of the profit game for as long as they can. Swing traders use intercession volatility to execute two types of strategies. The first tactic expects flat conditions as positions are held overnight. A quiet close favors a quiet open. Stocks in well-defined trends should resume price movement through adjacent sessions unless other forces intervene. While risk increases overnight, positions play the odds and seek greater rewards. But this strategy backfires if overnight shocks or insider manipulation twist the opening. The other method relies on overnight volatility as swing traders hold positions in expectation of a morning gap. This highly popular strategy carries great risk through most market conditions. Although odds favor a continuation of the prior day's trend, an immediate reversal may trigger if the shock does not materialize. And morning gaps now print frequently in the opposite direction of the close, 
as insiders fade the crowd's well-known intentions. Overnight strategies rely on an estimated 80 to 90 percent continuation bias. A trending stock that moves to a new high or low near closing should surge in that direction the next morning. The first hour provides an excellent opportunity to unload short-term positions that capitalize on the closing trend. But this strategy always presents greater risks than intraday or broader position-based trades. Use it in runaway markets, but avoid it the rest of the time. The Gauntlet The close marks a standoff between supply and demand that reflects equilibrium or imbalance. Overnight activities may release tension on this spring or pull it to the breaking point. Western markets seek stability through price discovery as the sun rises in New York. On listed exchanges, specialists estimate retail demand through their order book. NASDAQ market makers communicate with ECNs before the open and represent prices that test boundaries until the most aggressive participants win the inside bid-ask spread. The S&P futures contract impacts the pre-open through fair value arbitrage, but rather than offer leadership, this frantic market often paints the opening tape to invite trade execution and then fades immediately. These whipsaws have grown in lockstep with the introduction of small-sized mini-contracts and electronic execution. The NASDAQ 100 futures present a popular new indicator for opening demand. But equities traders should realize that the stock markets themselves provide the best leading information about the eventual opening tick. Changing spreads seek the moving target of opening momentum, but no one really knows how the public or institutions will impact price when the broad markets open. The opening surge may or may not ignite a subsequent trend. The first hour searches for direction as it forces action through a testing gauntlet in order to gauge demand. This price discovery builds a road map to guide both the trading floor and retail public in setting balanced prices for securities. Look for a third bar reversal about 11 or 12 minutes into the new day. This frequent test refers to the third bar or candle of the five-minute S&P futures contract, or equity indices, as measured from the 9.30 a.m. opening of the U.S. stock markets. This time zone corresponds with the 15-minute market quote delay built into most retail access until recent years. In past times, painting the tape for this crowd ensured some additional volume for the market makers and specialists. Because retail traders were often the last paper in the door, other market forces could then take over and trigger a reversal or sideways action. Although real-time access to the markets has grown substantially, the third bar reversal still shows its face in many morning sessions. A second time zone, right after 10 a.m., tries to reverse any trend established at the open. The origin of this fade could be the frequent release of government economic data at this time, but even on days with no news, a strong expectation for this 35-minute test often turns into a self-fulfilling event. This specific time zone has tremendous importance for swing traders. Many professionals will not enter positions until the gauntlet ensures that the trend they want to trade will remain intact. They rely upon the outcome of this 35-minute test more than any other for making their early decisions. Trends that survive first-hour testing may continue throughout the day. These early mechanics trigger another unique behavior of the market open. The last 15 minutes or so of the first hour often reflect capitulation by the gauntlet's losing side. Price movement shifts to the winning trend for the day, and can escalate as many swing traders fill their first executions. Watch for this 10.20 a.m. impulse very closely. An opening trend should resume right at this time if the gauntlet shows little counter-trend strength. But if the expected move does not appear, an immediate reaction can trigger a major reversal. 
Examine the ten minutes that lead into this time zone to determine the likely outcome. For example, weak countertrend rallies that fade into 10.20 a.m. will often ignite strong selling right at this interval. This 50-minute move originates through several internal forces. First, many swing traders rely on first-hour breakout systems, although this method requires that they wait through a full 60 minutes for the daily trend to exert itself, many jump the gun and enter positions early. Second, other participants wait for opening volatility to dissipate, and this time promotes their first daily executions. The first hour sets themes that repeat themselves throughout the trading day. Market participants reveal their strengths and weaknesses during this testing gauntlet. Volume then drops sharply, constricting price movement and setting range resistance difficult to penetrate until one side gathers new momentum. This often provides clear boundaries for the action that follows. Intraday traders use first-hour breakout systems to beat the market. This early strategy sets up support and resistance at short-term price extremes, especially in choppy markets. Breaks through these important levels should induce profitable bar expansion in the direction of the penetration. These known tendencies support classic setups, such as buying momentum, fading resistance, and buying pullback dips. Midday Markets A new crowd emerges as the action of the first hour fades. While public participation dominates the open, the balance of the day belongs to institutions and professional traders. The resolution of opening orders, driven by overnight supply-demand imbalance, creates an upward, downward, or sideways bias that will likely persist for the entire day. This initial market character fuels trade strategies for those making their livelihood in the daily price swings. Trend days appear less frequently than range-bound ones. Swing traders take their cues from whatever the markets offer and choose long, short, or stand-aside strategies. This often requires waiting for counter-trend weakness after the first hour before they enter long positions, or counter-trend strength to sell short. Time for the pros. Many low-risk opportunities appear throughout the middle of the day. Price swings tend to exhibit more dependable movement, so entries can be held through small pullbacks with less risk. Scalping tactics also work very well within these very short-term cycles, but intraday participants understand that market character changes sharply in the last hour. They must choose to terminate positions if their active strategy cannot capitalize on that volatile environment. Fortunately, the last hour also provides convenient opportunities for profitable exits. Execute longer-term positions in the middle of the day to improve reward risk significantly. Trade fills during this quieter time benefit from compressed spreads, and speculators make better decisions after observation of the bull-bear struggle that guides the opening gauntlet. But remember that market timing cannot turn a bad trade into a good one. It can only make a good one better. First hour range, total volume, and the current bar's relationship to short-term highs or lows offer important feedback to determine reward risk for potential trade entries. Break of the first hour range or other significant high-low extremes, sets up profitable bar expansion. Swing traders also initiate fades at intraday SR in anticipation of reversals. For example, when a stock thrusts through a first-hour high, pauses, and breaks back into the morning range, the odds for a successful short sale near this high increase greatly. The midday trader must face continued testing of the short-term trend. As the day progresses, Reversal of first-hour sentiment becomes more and more unlikely. While this early trend remains dominant on most days, strong midday shocks can generate contrary forces that trigger powerful reversals. Two classic zones for this unexpected shift lie near 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. These important times correspond with trading that surrounds lunchtime on Wall Street. 
Sharp, short counter-trend activity often characterizes the late-morning test. Tape readers will notice that market movers and institutions press one final attempt here to gauge strength or weakness of the primary trend. Directional price movement can quickly resume once they complete these games. The period from shortly after 11 a.m. into the lunch hour can ignite very strong trend development. Alternatively, if an expected price move does not materialize by 11.30 a.m., the market often fades into undependable swing movement. Counter-trend movement may not emerge during early afternoon activity if the day exhibits strong directional bias. A rally or sell-off can begin right after lunch in these trending conditions, but erratic activity becomes much more likely if direction is not clear. At times like these, one can almost hear insiders plotting their manipulation over lunch and drinks at New York corner bars. Trust nothing you see or hear during the lunch hour. As primary market players head out to fill their stomachs, the second team arrives to play a variety of fake-out games that generate volume and test the supply-demand waters. False breakouts and breakdowns occur with great frequency as clever stop-gunning exercises push through well-established SR. This negative feedback can work to the swing trader's advantage. The lunch hour provides a very attractive exit point if the push and pull of false price movement benefits an existing position. The midday quiet carries one final danger to the bottom line. Every short-term trade must show sufficient price movement to generate gain or loss. Positions that don't exhibit sufficient volatility generate substantial risk as range narrows after the first hour. Trading is never a zero-sum game, and these small losses can lead to significant transaction costs. Make sure that executions anticipate an active market or leave them for the next participant. Finding Midday Winners The midday swing trader must locate issues that will generate predictable range movement. Expect no more than 20%, 10 or 12, of the stocks within a real-time quote screen of 50 to 60 issues to display positive characteristics of trend and volatility on any given day. The setups for these trading vehicles must reveal their intentions through prior analysis of momentum, key SR, and prevailing pattern cycles. Supplement overnight study with classic intraday price analysis. Exercise strong discipline and keep the level 2 screen at some distance while an unbiased evaluation of all technical factors decides the next execution. Always ask the right questions before making the trade. Has the stock broken out of its first-hour range? First-hour breakouts signify trending markets. A breakout can lead to a series of strong price thrusts in the direction of the break. Alternatively, when price remains stuck between early trading extremes, it lacks sufficient crowd enthusiasm or fear to push it through these barriers. The longer that markets sit in this early price range, the less likely that any significant movement will occur until, at least, the end of the day. Is it close to its high or low for the day? Many eyes watch markets that trade close to their highs or lows. Important tests at these levels invite the crowd to jump in or head for the exits. Don't be fooled by one or two tick penetrations of these extremes, especially on the first test. Professionals know that stops build right at these points and will take them out regardless of their other intentions. Momentum players should concentrate on the third rise to a high or the third descent to a low. This wave will more likely trigger a sharp price break than the first test. Are profitable entry points easy to recognize? The best entries always jump out to experienced eyes. Their location in the maze of one-minute or five-minute price bars makes them obvious. No two patterns are alike, but all promising setups share a common feature. They speak for themselves and require little interpretation. If you have to think about it, move on to the next opportunity. Is the market displaying positive feedback or negative feedback? Dead markets rob profits as easily as losing positions. 
Study volume to decide whether anyone really cares. How wide is the price range compared to recent days? Narrow range days make profitable intraday entries very difficult. Does enthusiasm build on the time and sales screen? Or is dull money controlling the action? When the markets just sit there, change the channel. Execute the appropriate trade once an opportunity appears. Midday markets favor constricted action, so the most effective tactics apply classic swing strategy. Experience suggests that the best results will come from buying weakness on uptrend issues and selling strength on downtrend ones. Expected holding period and price momentum determine which intraday trends provide the best reward risk. Even one-minute and five-minute trends offer profitable swing trades as long as midday volatility induces wide-range movement. Align entries with market clock impulses or reactions, and always keep one eye on the tick. Odds favor an increase in selling right at 2.30 p.m. This time bias originates in the bond market. On volatile days, their 3 p.m. closing forces many equity participants to the sidelines to avoid reversals and shakeouts. Over time, this sell zone has established itself as a natural exit point, and now appears even during quiet credit markets. Insiders also use 2.30 p.m. to measure selling pressure in anticipation of the last hour, and locals turn quick profits by reversing rallies into this point. As with the 10.20 a.m. move, strong buying can ignite when selling doesn't appear right at 2.30 p.m., but this late event always carries a negative bias, regardless of the intraday trend. Last Hour Midday participants need well-defined strategies to deal with the closing hour. The last phase of the market day displays unique characteristics that will enhance or undermine profits. Intraday traders seek to exit all positions prior to the closing bell. Professionals know this and will do everything in their power to pick those traders' pockets. Longer-term swing traders can go flat into the close or maintain positions as part of their broader strategy. When time permits, they should apply a quick reward-risk analysis for open positions and evaluate the likely impact of an overnight hold on the trading account. U.S. stocks undergo a rapid change in character as trading in the credit markets closes. Market participants realize that 4 p.m. concludes most financial transactions for the day. This simple fact ignites a new market impulse that responds to the major intraday themes. Both retail and institutions contribute to this last hour's volatility through active trading. Classic buy-sell programs strike throughout the last 60 minutes, while mutual fund activity surges during the last 20 minutes of the day. This dramatic increase in institutional participation heightens price movement and stirs up an emotional brew that leads into the close. Change of Character Swing traders plan final executions during this hour and remain sharply focused on the powerful forces at work. This compressed period tries to discount all of the day's news and emotions. Much of the action depends on what precedes it. This daily event can pass with little excitement after quiet or range-bound sessions. But if conflicting market forces need final resolution or a very strong trend persists, wide bar expansion and whipsaws will develop. The last hour frees stocks from the influence of credit-related arbitrage and allows index futures arbitrage to drive price movement. This third market clock impulse also marks decision time for a multitude of active strategies that began during the prior hours. Participants must use their time wisely. Trends that develop through the first 20 minutes of the final hour tend to fade sharply at 3.30 p.m., and price action loses predictability as closing strategies take over the last 20 minutes of the session. Participants closely watch the 15 minutes that lead in to 3 p.m., looking for evidence of strong momentum that may predict the direction of a last-hour surge. Although this short period carries a buy-side bias, 
it can also lead to major sell-offs. Gauge demand through review of the tick and market breadth, advanced decline, data. Examine level two as well as time and sales to identify bursts of enthusiasm or fear. If the measurements flatline during this important phase, they signify a market without immediate direction. This can offer a very useful signal that most of the crowd will miss. Swing traders who buy weakness and sell rallies all day must shift gears during the final hour and become trend followers. Odds favor continuation of the intraday trend during the last hour and into the next day's open. Shorting stocks that sit at new highs or catching falling knives in sell-offs both trigger very bad outcomes. Alternatively, momentum strategies allow profitable trade exits as positions follow this final impulse and break beyond their intraday ranges. Major trends rarely reverse in the closing hour, but contrary price movement can escalate very rapidly when they do. Late reversals trap the crowd that controlled most of the action up to that point. Powerful moves erupt as they unwind large commitments with little time to trade. Don't wait for too much confirmation when the warning signs appear for this event. The lack of available time speeds up the action and often fails to offer pullbacks or other low-risk execution. Knowledge of daily range and key SR levels improves results during last-hour trades. Congestion sets up well in advance of closing near key highs and lows. Stops build just above or below these extremes while the crowd watches very closely. Price pushes into these levels during the last hour as invisible forces guide its movement. Insiders want to gauge whether demand is great enough to support an expansion move. At the least, they benefit from stop volume and ensure that orders don't disappear overnight without execution. And, with a little luck, they generate enough momentum to keep things active well beyond the current session. Quitting Time The session's last 15 to 20 minutes closes the books for most traders, institutions, and market movers. This generates unique but unpredictable price behavior. Spreads often set up to penalize one or both sides of the market. These can rapidly shift in the final minutes to take advantage of MOC, market on close, orders, intraday traders going flat and covering shorts. Avoid new positions during these last minutes unless a specific overnight strategy manages them. Use this time instead to exit existing plays at the best possible price. Also, watch to see how institutions view the closing. Their willingness to commit capital can predict how the next morning will open. Insiders paint the price chart at closing so they can access demand from the fresh surge of retail market orders the next morning. Overnight strategies must trust the daily trend here, although whipsaws can occur just minutes before 4 p.m. Even thin issues get a paint job at this time to try to fool technical indicators that rely on range closing information. Stocks with spreads that average more than one half point can produce a host of inaccurate signals if they just close on the ask or bid day after day. Multi-day trends develop when a single session fails to discount the common pool of information. The finality of the approaching close intensifies greed and fear. Many actions reflect ill-advised decision-making, as loss and frustration creep into rational strategies. These emotions generate additional supply-demand imbalance that can carry into the close. This peaking volatility makes the last few minutes dangerous and unpredictable. The master swing trader has already concluded the day's transactions by this time and stands aside to the final bell. Time of week and month. Time bias does not end with daily cycles. Clearly defined time quirks appear through weekly and monthly periods as well. Swing traders study these events to avoid being on the wrong side of the market when they strike. Start with individual days of the week and look at their special characteristics. These five trading sessions open new themes 
test them, and work to resolve price imbalance before Friday's closing tick. Monday morning greets market participants the same way that offices around the world receive tired worker bees. The weekend break disorients the crowd and forces re-evaluation of major assumptions. The session often opens to confusion as players try to find their rhythm and the next market direction. Light volume characterizes many Mondays, especially in the summertime. This lack of commitment may continue well into midweek. The morning can trigger selling pressure that lasts for many hours. Mild rallies often begin late in the day as this finally dissipates and the market floats upward. Turnaround Tuesday describes a well-known time bias. Trends that begin on Friday and persist through Monday frequently reverse during the first hour of this session. New trends that start at this time may trigger sharp price expansion for the next two days. But choppy action can persist throughout the week when a clear trend does not appear. Volume often spikes on Tuesday as large players execute their first strategies of the week. Watch Instanet closely to see how the institutions position themselves. Wednesday and Thursday tend to reinforce themes initiated earlier in the week. Strong trends should continue through these days, unless external shock events intervene. Trading action starts to hesitate on Thursday afternoon, as awareness of the upcoming weekend enters the market psyche. This wall grows stronger if the crowd fears government statistics that will be released the next morning. The government issues economic reports through a regular publication cycle. The major ones can impact markets on any day of the week. But the monthly unemployment report, which always appears on the first Friday of the month, wields the greatest hammer. The credit and futures markets can respond violently to these important numbers. This ensures that arbitrage and crowd response trigger broad equities movement. But placing bets in advance of fundamental reports can be very dangerous. Earn consistent profits by reading the charting landscape rather than speculating on external influences. Fridays have other major forces to contend with. Options expire the middle Friday of each month. That week often generates unusual volatility that peaks on expiration day. Market action during this period can be highly unpredictable. Swing traders should consider an early weekend before the climax and think twice about all executions during that week. Most participants also use the week's end to digest themes and imbalance from the prior four days. Many institutional strategies focus on weekly price bars. As the week draws to a close, professional technicians determine the need for portfolio adjustments and take appropriate action to protect large positions. Many players act recklessly near the weekend if positions stand at a large profit or loss. The losers jump into volatile stocks as they try to get even, while the winners dump profit vehicles that still have many points to run. Markets seek equilibrium as they head for the weekend. This can trigger strong trends in either direction to accommodate current themes. But Fridays tend to end with a whimper rather than a bang. Many players wind down and disappear by the afternoon, especially in the summertime. This frequently leads to a choppy close on light volume. But when strong conflict or imbalance carries into the final session of the week, everyone will stay at their desks until the last minute. Seasons and Seasonality well-defined seasonal variations can signal false opportunity. For example, options expiration reflects high levels of manipulation. Classic breakout and breakdown rules must be closely managed during these volatile times to avoid the risk of serious loss. Other times of month and year generate special bias that can affect trade alignment. Learn these cyclical quirks before taking a position that falls under their influence. Holiday and pre-holiday trading sessions elicit a positive bias, but carry increased risk. Martin Zweig cataloged the mechanics of this interesting phenomenon in his classic Winning on Wall Street. He noted that U.S. holiday markets finished up 83% of the time 
during the period from 1952 to 1985. Holiday trading has grown choppier since he published his findings, but this bullish tendency continues. Unfortunately, participants can still lose substantial money on these rally days. Light volume characterizes holiday sessions. This gives professionals a great opportunity to manipulate the tape and induce wide price swings. Christmas week and the day after Thanksgiving provide the perfect environment for this type of false volatility. Swing traders can get on the right side of this action and turn excellent profits. But classic technical analysis often fails, as SR, patterns, and price extremes violate without pullbacks or crowd participation. The best advice during these holiday periods is to turn off the computer and go to the beach. The end of each quarter triggers window dressing by mutual funds and other large institutions. Intense fund buying tends to appear after a very strong market rally. Funds must report their profit or loss on a quarterly basis. They have great motivation to publish excellent results. Their managers would like to keep their jobs. Even when they miss the original rally, funds buy certain issues near the end of the quarter's last month to boast that they own the stock in their public reports. The January effect provides a liquidity-driven seasonal event. Fresh cash pours into the stock markets through 401k contributions at the start of each year. At the same time, tax selling pressure eases and invites new value investors. These two forces combine to generate a very strong bullish bias that often leads to powerful rallies. Most investors associate the January effect with small-cap stocks, but the popularity of large-cap funds has broadened the impact into more sectors in recent years. Market character changes through the summer months, but June no longer denotes the start of Wall Street's prolonged vacation. Heavy retail participation now keeps trading volume high until late July. Although the summer months traditionally display a bullish bias, recent years have seen substantial volatility and less dependable action in the period between mid-June and late July. After the fireworks, August's dog days take center stage as market professionals disappear and light, choppy action becomes more likely until Labor Day. As with holiday periods, these thin sessions exhibit wider price swings and many technical violations. Choose more active stocks and event-driven issues to capture cleaner moves until the crowd returns for the fall season. September presents market players with the most dangerous period of the entire year. It represents the only month that has generated an average decline in portfolio value over a 45-year history. Although October has witnessed the Black October events of 1929 and 1987, the harvest month offers relatively good historical returns. On the other hand, September rarely rewards investors. Year-end anxiety drives part of this negativity, but a more fundamental process underlies the poor results. Autumn initiates the start of tax selling season for retail and institutional participants. Tax loss selling infects fall market activity for several months. Investors reduce their year-end tax burden by taking capital losses on non-performing positions. This selling often limits broad rallies until close to Christmas. This event's intensity depends on the months that precede it. Long periods of market decline increase tax loss pressure, while stable rallies relieve it. Mutual funds face their own major reallocation near the end of October as they prepare for end-of-year reporting. This can trigger ferocious volatility with broad strategies that dump old losers and chase new winners. The Santa rally marks a psychological end to tax loss selling as investors jump the gun on next year's bargains. The last few weeks before the Christmas holiday carry a positive bias that often triggers a substantial rally. Although investors can sell losing positions through December 31st, most of their negative impact eases by mid-month. Market players then concentrate on rebuilding portfolios 
with cash directed toward broad sectors. This combines with natural holiday bullishness to favor a pleasant end to the trading year. The Master Swing Trader Commit yourself to a lifetime of opportunity and conflict. Professional traders still face unexpected drawdowns and missed profits, but they understand that longevity depends on shaking off their short-term demons and moving on to the next trade. And they have the confidence to expect a profit on the very next position. Seek market knowledge, but avoid the knowledge game. Books and seminars can undermine successful trade execution after a few years of experience. Realize that secondary reinforcement from sitting at the guru's feet may not build either profits or skills. True market wisdom comes only through personal trading experience. Size doesn't matter. Avoid the bias that position size and professional responsibility must grow with trading experience. Some may find a home managing other people's assets. Others should just stay at home and watch the kids while the markets pay their lunch money. No single characteristic describes the successful swing trader. This master technician may look like a local businessman, soccer mom, or software geek. Treat this noble profession with great respect. Combine the discipline of a saint with the tenacity of a bulldog through every trading opportunity. The markets work to fool the majority at every turn. Don't be surprised when you suddenly become part of the crowd that you're trying to avoid. Use the opportunity to peek in the mirror and see what it looks like before extricating yourself from this dangerous herd. Enjoy the long road to market knowledge. Each twist offers a new gem to carry into the next active position. Over time, many battle scars teach a profound understanding of the modern financial markets. Neophytes become members of an exclusive club as they evolve into seasoned professionals. As their power grows, they often wonder if they can fully tame the beast and have it under their total control. Unfortunately, this popular fantasy will never come true. Even the master swing trader must take what the market gives with humility, acceptance, and good humor. This is Chris Ryan for McGraw-Hill Audio. Thank you for listening. This audiobook is co-published by American Media International, LLC, and Redwood Audiobooks, and is based upon the book entitled The Master Swing Trader by Alan S. Farley. Copyrighted in 2001 in the name of the McGraw-Hill Companies, Incorporated. Published by arrangement with the McGraw-Hill Companies, Incorporated.